good. I think everything's working. Stalt, do a little post post production here. Should get rid of the jowls. Had a six pack. Uh, so we had a uh, me and Poob had a stream, and during that stream, that guy, AK guy, Brandon Herrera, uh, he shows up in chat, which leads Poob down a rabbit hole of shitting on Kyle Rittenhouse, and um, that was that was the the beginnings of what would lead to us having Brandon Herrera on the podcast. Um, I don't think we ever actually talk about Kyle Rittenhouse during the podcast, but. Uh, it doesn't matter because we, I just wanted to have this this introduction. It's cut from the live stream um, as to like, I guess the context of what was what was being discussed before Brandon shows up. If that makes sense, and it's funny. It's me and Poob just going to town, you know. Just a forewarning to the audio listeners out there. That's right. I'm thinking of you guys. In my mind, you you guys show up first and foremost when I'm thinking about dedicated listeners to the show is the the audio listeners. I love you more than anything. Stolt, put up a sign that says "fuck audio listeners," just a visual thing that they won't be able to see. And just flash that on screen every now and then. Anyways, uh, so audio listeners out there, for some context, you might hear a little bit of stomping around, maybe some video game noises, maybe shooting once or twice, uh, but. It's not, it's not really, you know, imagine me and Poob are just on a battlefield somewhere quipping back and forth. And maybe you, that kind of makes us seem like we have exciting lives <laughs> more than just two nerds that are doing a fucking live stream on a video game. So the next 10 minutes is from when me and Poob went to like an active battleground in like Afghanistan or something like that. And we're, we're just talking about Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> Is he like one of the gun guys? Yeah, but I'm not playing with Brandon Herrera because I have messaged him and emailed and done everything in my power to get, oh server connection lost to get him on the podcast. No response. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh so, wait, he's the AK guy. Yeah, the AK guy. Is he in your stream right now? Maybe. Brandon, you. Yeah, Brandon, you gotta <laughs> fucking come on the podcast first, uh, bitch, before I even think about it. I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not like a big fan of those, those not, types. I mean, I don't know anything about them, but uh, they really like guns. They, yeah. they love it's like them. really liking cars or like trains or something. I don't yeah, they're know. like mechanics, but I hate people that with also like are hobbies. Yeah, I like hate enjoy, hobbyists like, too. Yeah, people like that enjoy, enjoy things. <laughs> yeah, like what? Make, what you think you're better than me just because I don't have any fun? <laughs> you think you're better than me because you're not depressed and shit and hate your life and stare at the wall all day? Fuck. Guns. <laughs> yeah. Cl clean them. Suck on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you ignored Sam, fuck you. <laughs> Never come on on our podcast. No, I want him on the podcast. That other I gun guy ignored it too. Who? Uh, oh, donut operator. He yeah. he keeps playing around with like like he'll message me and ask me to come out to to Texas. I'm like, well, come on my pot. Like I'm not gonna hop on a plane and fly over there to meet you if I don't even like you. So like, come on the podcast. No answer. <laughs> Radio silence. Like say what you whatever you fuck you know say what you will about Kyle. You know we we obviously made some jokes that didn't age well on the podcast. Blah blah. But now, the like glorification and like tours and stuff like these are uh, maybe i'm getting the wrong read here but they seem like guys that buy a ticket to go listen to him talk somewhere who kyle maybe like rittenhouse yeah yeah he like does like speaking events and shit speaking events shit dude what the fuck i want to be a motivational speaker just because yeah. i left my house and ripped up some people in the street <laughs> that's fucking wild that's a that's a Get jump start in a career treatment yeah yep. Apparently, if you do a public shooting, you get to be a public speaker. It all starts in the public. We have to get out yeah. more. That's the problem. We got to get into the public to, more. There's, 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 did nothing wrong. Defended. Felon. That's not what I'm arguing about. I'm just saying it's weird yeah. to then be like, now let's give this guy a huge platform. I should have realized how, how divisive even saying that would be in this audience why don't we sell you guys some tickets okay go on for it fables.com we're gonna be selling front row tickets <laughs> for, uh, for a 
Kyle Rittenhouse esque speech <laughs> that he Sam has, will be delivering. It's not I even love him. It so it's much. just us. Yeah. I'll like look up uh, what like his main points that he talks about, and I'll be like, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we can be like talk about guns, and we can be like freedoms so like free mm -hmm. well not the tickets but <laughs> the tickets, tickets will be free. very exuberantly priced yeah the tickets are insanely expensive guys don't say anything like that while ak guys watching you're not you're gonna lose them for the podcast i you know sometimes you gotta handle some pain in order to get better you know sometimes you gotta cauterize the wound i'm gonna have to fire you poob if you're gonna be alienating future guests like this I'll take my fucking severance pay. I'll take, yeah, I'll take, I'll take next my severance pay. pay and leave. <laughs> yeah. You're so radicalized. We already agreed, dude. Severance pay is 12 months of the entire Patreon paycheck. The entire thing up front. Dude, I, I could quit. I could yeah, I would quit me. today if that was I would quit so Fire hard. <laughs> Heavy heart, I'd do the whole thing. I'd act like it wasn't my idea. I'd act like it was creative differences or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking say anything. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's because I was too radical in my insane <laughs> yeah, opinion. Yeah. My crazy, crazy it's opinion that totally it's just weird. My fault. Yeah. Being like obsessed with these people and it's like a radical opinion to be like, that's a guy that just went out and, you know, shot some people. Even if I'm like, he rightly did it, it's still weird. Yeah, analyzer. but no, that's like, that's some commie shit. Those hey. are some really radical ideas you were sharing earlier, and here you are walking out in public with a firearm. Yeah, Hello? I just sucked, cleaned it dry earlier. Whoa, watch out! Are you just gonna watch open them. fire on them? Whoa, yeah. watch out! <laughs> these now guys put are... me on the view. <laughs> these guys, <laughs> give me a TV show. I need. <laughs> I you need guys said hero, I now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, my job prospects are looking kind of slim. I recently got fired from the podcast I was on for my communist views, so I decided to do this <laughs> public shooting. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm marrying Reba or some shit <laughs> just for publicity. Yeah. Let's get Reba back. Dude, her career is failing. She would probably she would probably date that guy. <laughs> I can see Reba her doing. Kyle right now have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, Walmart sold out of the Rittenhouse action figure. What am I going to get my kids for Christmas? <laughs> like, I can say whatever I want, you know. Freedom of speech, look it up. Yeah. And on, it's called I My Freedom? Really to... yeah. Wow, it's sad that I say one thing and these people want me to, they want to silence me. Yeah. 2022 for you. <laughs> I really can't say anything, huh? Yeah. But that these snowflakes in the fucking hornet nest <laughs> getting all mad. <laughs> My, uh, I have family members that use the term snowflake all the time. Coincidentally, always the same people that are really fucking bent out of shape over stuff. <laughs> <Okay>. <clears throat> this guy's asking, like, what you said to get everybody so angry. I said, like, you wanted to, like, outlaw private property or something like that. Yeah. Round up all the guns and... Mm -hmm. And burn them. <laughs> burn them in a big burn pile, all the guns, yeah. While they're loaded. <laughs> And while we're at it, let's put all the fucking masks in there, the muzzles, too. Let's yeah. put those in the burn pile. I think we should burn all the guns in America while they're loaded. And, like, all that, we should I make a big you. burn pile yeah. of magazines. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we should definitely do that. For people that are really entrenched in stuff like that, you explain it from the other way. Like, imagine if, like, that Rosenbaum guy that was, like, a rapist or some shit he was like a felon the dude that got killed imagine if he had survived if he had and gotten a got public it. speaking job <laughs> and then they'll realize how absurd it is and it's like it's just stupid he defended his defense against himself by defending himself yeah. and but he gets out of prison like some... is like this big public speaker you'd be like that's the dumbest shit in the world it'd be really cool if they like fought with like martial arts or something and had like a really big action fight. i would have a lot more respect for the whole situation yeah if, uh, if he had a samurai sword and so did that rosenbaum guy and then they had oh like a, a fight to the death and if they like respected their opponent yeah and did a little bow at the end and stuff like <laughs> hmm. <laughs> i was very surprised my mom and my grandma were actually not like for kyle rittenhouse that is surprising that is and very telling yeah 
commies. I disowned yeah. them. I never <laughs> spoken to my mom since. <laughs> No, I think my grandma's like old school and she's just like an old lady. She's like, I just don't like it when I see someone walking down an American street with an assault rifle. <laughs> she's just like, I'm just, you I just have don't. to kill white people? <laughs> that, yeah, that was her problem with it. <laughs> Shot one of us. <laughs> I was like, Grandma, that's not the take. That's not the take you should be having. <laughs> Sam Brandon came by earlier and said he wants to be on the podcast. No, he said that multiple times, and I've tried getting him on there, and I cannot talk to the man through any sort of DMs. I've tried everything. I've tried uh, emails. I've tried DMs. It's just silence on his side. I just hit a brick wall. If you wrong the forehead fables, it's fuck you forever. Oh, your career is... Oh, this guy's bigger than His both career, of us put together. Career this, your career is over if you fuck with us. <laughs> <laughs> if you say you want to be on there and then don't answer my emails, blacklisted. <sighs> yeah, good luck working in this town again, bitch. <laughs> and this town being the internet. <laughs> you and Donut Operator, good luck ever getting a gig again. Doing good luck with know, your five, whatever. six million, uh, six million subs combined. You're over. If you combine our subs, we've got like one million something, right? Like, <laughs> we got like, like, yeah, basically like one million. And I'm not bigger than AK guy. He fucking he has way more views than me. There's no or, He's probably yeah. physically stronger than you, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we don't know that for sure, but. Maybe you take like one look at that. All the all the Texas gun guys, they're all like, they all hang out and drink white claws and lift weights oh. and shoot guns. And yeah, I'm a man. I drink heavy, heavy IPAs. That's why I got a little belly. <laughs> if I drink white claws, I'd be jacked as shit. Yeah, it's like you don't even have to work out if you drink enough yeah. protein. It's like alcoholic cum. It's like, it's, uh, that's what I like about it. It's so yes. manly drinking that. What's manlier than cum? <laughs> Leaves a nice milk mustache. <laughs> it's like the most masculine. It's like masculinity fucking put in a little vial. Yeah. Like the essence of it. It's like, yeah, it's like cum beer. Cum beer. Uh, have you ever had butter beer? No. Well, that seems like so that seems like the only beer I'd be into. It's, it's not, I mean, it's alcoholic. It's like in Harry Potter world. But it is oh, so good. But I imagine Cummer beer is very similar. <laughs> Hell yeah. And Brandon found the email, apparently. Oh, now he finds the email. All right. What? Oh, I must have gone to spam. <laughs> yeah. I pulled that one on all my professors. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? Must have gone to spam. What the hell's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I use that too with like everything that I receive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, that means was, he, he read it and then went, nope. <laughs> it was in my deleted emails folder. So, uh, <laughs> we really don't have any guests lined up, though, do we? For... No. You know who might be a little bit out of our price range that we could get? Um, Kyle Rittenhouse. I heard he's doing oh, paid. Nice. I'm sure he's yeah, going to we'll a... give him anything. <laughs> he's got a lot to say, I'm sure. And then we'll just. We'll like have like a hero trumpets play when he shows up and a salute every time he speaks. Like convince him to get onto Twitch streaming. It's like what you did, but fake. And he goes, not interested. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, I just don't get the same rush. <laughs> the, th the thrill is gone. Yeah, Tarkov, the thrill is gone unless you have to defend yourself in front of a jury after you, you do it. These people are shooting back? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it comes. Here comes the comments. <laughs> oh, Joker is not allowed to say his little jokes, huh? Brandon apparently, uh, he replied to my email. He went and found it and replied to it. Did he reply professionally? <sighs> he said he's 100% down and he's sorry for the accidental snub laughing crying emoji. Yeah, I'll have you fucking crying. Yeah, emojis in an email. Not very not, professional. Not where I'm from. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, this is a professional <laughs> podcast. I just realized you're not the stuff for it. I'm gonna that's why I'm writing uh, back to him. <laughs> an emoji? Really? <laughs> we talk we cover heavy shit here. If you're not a grown up, then why don't you go play <laughs> Yeah, if you're not a grown up then I I'm sorry. I didn't realize I had all my shit fucked up. I'm so sorry. Oh my god.
This is really I unprofessional. I didn't realize I was a retard that couldn't handle time zones. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just based off like the five seconds you've been here and just, you know, just our general vibe. I saw that you were on that PKA podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who do you like more, us or them? Go ahead, lay it down. So far, uh, I'm leaning them. Um, Why? Because I, I haven't I, really exchanged words with anyone here yet. Other than Sam, who's been just berating me. Are you mad at us? I feel like he's mad at us. I, I, I'm actually, I am not mad at you. Guys. You've been trying to get on PKA, right, Sam? I or have been. What happened? The hell yeah, is PKA? What happened with that? They record uh, it when I'm hanging out with my kids, <laughs> and they're like, "Why can't you?" <laughs> They're like, why can't you be a guest at 6 p.m.? I'm like, I'm eating dinner with, like, I'm cooking dinner for my children. Like, I'm not just going <laughs> to abandon them to go record that shit. Be on my podcast, podcast yeah. you fucking incel. If, if like, if <laughs> FPS Russia was, like, at his heyday, then I might be, like, <laughs> you know, the kids might not eat that night in order to be on there. But this is post-prison FPS Russia. It's a totally different guy. Oh man, Dad's talking to FPS Russia. I guess it's <laughs> sleep for dinner again. <laughs> yeah, uh, but um, the uh, wait, there was something really important that I had to preface this episode with. Oh yeah, should we clap first? And <laughs> now put that in the podcast. Stalt. Okay, <laughs> Stalt, if, <laughs> Stalt's our editor. If that fucking guy leaves in another clap, I'm gonna snap. All right, that rhymed. No, uh, okay. I got I got word through Discord and someone messaged me that there's a website that has officially leaked all the Patreon episodes. What? And yeah, it was sent. It was sent. <laughs> I know like, that poop like that's his paycheck. No. All of a sudden he perked yeah, yeah. up. Like, no. <laughs> what the hell? No, we gotta no. shut this down, dude. <laughs> we need to kill these we, fucking people. Yeah, we're yeah. throwing out lawsuits and well, shit. Well, I went man. to the website, right? I was so curious. I was pissed off. And and they they had all these things like if if this is your content send us a DMCA. I went to go fill it out. They want like your social security number and like who <laughs> you are, where you live. I'm like I'm not giving this website that. And I was so pissed yeah. off. And then they advertised to me on this website. They have a sister company, a sister website, where all it is is only fan leaks. And so I'm like, man, I'm pissed off. My intellectual property has been stolen. I go, I'll go check out whose stuff has been stolen on this other website. I'm mad for them. And then there was like a lot of really hot OnlyFans catalogs just completely leaked on the internet. I'm never gonna ever fill out a DMC. Yeah, he's disgusting. I'm not gonna give, I'll give you the link independently, but I'm not gonna put it up on the thing because then they might be able to find our leaked Patreon episodes. But what the fuck is that in the background? What is that? What's that moving thing? What? And your fuck your currents. Oh, Sam, yeah, your currents. Sam, look at your What is that? It's outside. moving. Yeah, right there. Open up that the a home fucking invasion? blind. What's my dog? Uh, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm seriously expecting it? some like Scooby Doo shit where he turns around, it's gone. It's like, yeah, yeah. Oh god! I had Scooby Doo underwears on, by the way. <laughs> Very nice. I just oh, bought no. them, yeah. <laughs> and that Can was for adults. Right now? Say what? Uh, Can you show it to us, or is that allowed? I don't want to. Okay, so they're like spandex, and I don't want to show the front because, like, if I sit down <laughs> and then I stand up, the spandex like mushes my cock into my body. And so it looks like I have, it's just like the tip of my penis up against the screen. Oh, yeah. The underwear <laughs> makes my penis look really small. Yeah. They, they say Scooby Doo on them. Okay. Yeah, oh, there's a little, yes. a little brown stain in the <laughs> yeah. middle there. Yeah. Oh, there's uh, a hole where the butthole's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm assuming Abby stopped listening to these because you already talked about watching a bunch of. OnlyFans leaks in the first like two minutes. I didn't watch them. I just she doesn't know what the hell that is. Jerked off to him. Yeah, no. he was doing research. Uh, yeah, I was doing you were research. Sympathetic because they're also yeah. internet personalities. They're technically like colleagues and stuff. So I had to go through every single OnlyFans leak to make sure I could message the people. Well, so that they knew that their stuff was getting stolen. Every future Patreon episode will be on there though on this website. I don't think so. I think they do leaks every now and then. Okay. Yeah. We got to really start squeezing the patrons for more <laughs> before that gets out of control. Dude, we got to bring back the $10 tier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you got to go full on and I, just find the mole. Yeah, we got to find the, the one person that's leaking this stuff to this website that will rename, remain unnamed. Oh. Which I don't think that's going to happen. Hey, do you then. have any enemies? If you made... <laughs> 
Any enemies, Sam? No, nah, every, everybody like loves me. Yeah. I don't think there's anybody that hates me. What about you, Poop? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've got some, some, some enemies, but that's just kind of the nature of the business. Uh, if you, you know, you come for the top of Twitch, you're going to make some enemies, okay? And, uh, you know, I'm like, people have been throwing it around, top five variety streamer on the platform. So, yeah, I've, I've got a lot of enemies. Brian? Was that like statistically, no, like sense. when the Twitch leaks happened, you were of no, the variety not, streamers? It's not, it's not like, <laughs> or is that like a self-title? It's, like, it's yeah. like the court of public opinion. <laughs> it's just like going around. Like it's just being said. Like of the people that I asked that watch me, they said. Yeah. My, my audience. <laughs> yeah. They didn't even give me top, but top five. Yeah. I'm in the top five amongst my fans. Uh, yeah. yeah. I bet like you if you pull... see chum, Devin. <laughs> top, top five amongst my family at the dinner table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you pull oh, AK he's guys, guys. Four. <laughs> audience, he's the top five AK guy on Twitch or yeah. YouTube. He's a YouTube guy. Uh, so, like, are those the like, platform. um, there's like airsoft guns behind you? Or are they, are they, the yeah, real they're all, they're all fake. I don't, I don't have any real guns. Guns are, guns are bad. Well, I saw like in 2011, Freddie W figured out how to do those muzzle flashes and stuff. And I yeah, figured after, like, what's, what's the point stuff? of spending actual money on like the big boy guns when you could just get. Shoot a home invader with CGI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Hey, Hey, I, I know I'm, it's not looking like I'm doing anything to you, but I'll add the muzzle flash in post and then some blood splatter. Yeah. Just go with yeah. it. Okay. Get, get those little blood capsulets. Yeah. You can put those in. They... <laughs> I actually would kill for some of those. Sir, you're really not being a team player. Can you put my TV down? <laughs> yeah. Well, like in your videos, you could sit there and like shoot and just be like, I saw other people shooting these guns and they were like, their shoulders oh hurt from the recoil because they're pussies. But uh, I wonder if you'd me, save money effortless. on ammo. Yeah, save a whole lot of money on ammo for sure. Yeah, but then you got to pay a CGI guy. Yeah. So yeah, I've, it balances out. Freddie Wong could do it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Freddie, yeah. Freddie Wong's cheap. Ask Freddy. He's, I think his schedule is pretty he clear. He did like too. a tutorial on it. I mean, like he's got a little bit of. You're giving away my secret. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little <laughs> bit of. You know, obviously he's got some expertise in the area. But it didn't look that difficult. I, I, it took me 38 seconds to. I did a YouTube thing. I was like gunshot noise, and then I, I downloaded the video, and then I put it in, and I made my finger make a bullet noise when I did this with my what? thumb. And that's uh, half bullet? the work of taking Your an airsoft gun. Your finger made a bullet noise. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> bang, 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 bang. bang. Yeah. And that's half of what you do, right? Then all you just need the muzzle flash. And if yeah, you want, for the easy. sake of realism, you could, like, when you do this, you can, like, go like that. Like, it's recoil. Just the... Oh, yeah. 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 But I think somebody literally did that. Somebody did a YouTube video where they had like finger guns and they added the muzzle flashes off the finger guns. It was probably oh, Freddie cool. W. <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. Like a Freddy yeah. W. There's like video. two people out there that do that kind of shit. It's, that literally might have actually it's been him Freddy. or Corridor Digital. Those are the guy that was so embarrassing. We had Freddie W on the podcast and then I asked him about something that was from Corridor Digital. Oh, no. <laughs> and he was well, at least like, he was like that isn't me <laughs> he's like that, yeah. that's the other guys that i know yeah yeah, yeah. i've done that a few times in person mm. to people just if you ever like mistake content creators for other content creators and then don't figure it out until about midway through a conversation uh i i uh, haven't i haven't been there no <laughs> no i don't really talk to many other content creators so <laughs> yeah i don't you like guys, the money this, this pool of in my mind here you know yeah we know like four people yeah but um, you guys have a whole collective over there in like in uh, Texas, right? Yeah, we're starting a uh, like a, a big pro gun compound in Texas that works really well, like a militia uh, or something. Yeah, yeah, kind Maybe of like a, a Branch Davidian situation. Yeah, you know? where, uh, yeah. Jay Schlatt said he was from, right? When he was on the podcast, is he in your militia? I have I have never heard that name. Do you have any black uh, people in your militia, <laughs> or is it strictly Actually, yes? Really. Yeah, we're very inclusive, uh, yeah. radical militia. One? You sounded <laughs> I mean, surprised yourself. Three? Yeah, like, what? Yeah, he sounded surprised. He's like, I can't. Like, we there. actually, <laughs> well, I don't see. snack <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, we got one. Yeah, he's down in the basement. Uh, <laughs> now I'm like, oh, we're, we're, we're pretty inclusive, huh, son of a bitch. But I don't see uh, color, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like a dog. 
<laughs> I think it's called. I think it's just called being colorblind. Uh oh. No, yeah. you're you're a you're a canine American. Yeah. Uh, my uh, my yeah. other shipment of underwear just arrived. Should I go oh get that God. or should we? Is yeah. it more Scooby? Is it <laughs> yeah, more, more cartoon? Scooby. No, don't get yeah. it right now. It's you more ass. No, I gotta see what it. What is no, up I gotta with see. you and all your fucking wacky underwear? Like anyone's. Like I bet Abby doesn't even like it. Abby, I mean, no, yeah, she just scoffs or scowls whenever she sees Abby, it. Abby has sex like a Mormon chick. She's just very like. <laughs> Let's okay. You turn off the lights. Uh, the blanket up to my chin until you're ready to insert. Yeah. yeah. I really hope she doesn't watch this one. <laughs> no, she's cool. She's tight. Yeah. She didn't say anything about the little penis yeah, thing sticking tight. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With this new underwear. <laughs> Yeah, don't well, worry about mom. her. She's what really if, tight. What if yeah. she, she's like, every time... <laughs> what if she'd walk by and you start flicking on the head of your dick every time <laughs> when she sees you, when she sees that fucking what, underwear? in the shorts? Yeah, because you say it sticks out, right? She just flicks it. <laughs> it's, 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 you do it like a Pavlov's... From the do side, it, it's yeah. completely flat. You got to do it like a Pavlov's <laughs> dog thing. Like, right before you have sex, just flick it. And then all of a sudden, yeah. like, nowadays, just walking through the house. Like, just during the day, you just flick it and she gets aroused. Yeah, the arousal really doesn't happen. That would, work. Her, yeah. <laughs> that, would, that only works if they're enticed by the thing that you're flicking in any sort of way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but if we could figure, if we could tune this somehow to just figure out the arousal part, that would be pretty cool. If you could get back to me on that, I'll I'll do some research. I'll I'll let you know. Hey, what's that one with like the magazine on the other side of the gun behind you at the top? So that was something that we built on a dare. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I can grab that. Does it shoot? Yeah. No, they all everything behind me shoots. Can I send this video to the uh, ATF? Is that legal to make your own gun? Yeah. Uh, I have a bunch of licenses. So yeah. No. Uh, unfortunately, the ATF already has all of my fingerprints, <laughs> address, information, everything. But this is basically an AK that we built upside down. Uh -oh. So, the yeah, the Kalashna brand is what we call it. Some wacky Tarkov shit right there. The... We were joking about adding this into Tarkov, like, as, the, as a scab gun, because it's just a piece of shit. <laughs> now, what the fuck? And it shoot? It do. <laughs> it All right. Fully... Oh, shoot it right now. Yeah. Shoot it right now, <laughs> yeah. pussy. Fire it. Just pop. Yeah. Uh, I'm verifying that's clear real quick. Yeah, that's how I do it, is just point it up at the ceiling and <laughs> let it rip. Yeah. Well, that's a problem for the people upstairs. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm in the basement, so like I just fire sometimes. Into the, whenever I hear my kids, the footsteps. Yeah. Quiet down up there. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. 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 Shoot a circle around them. They, they fall through the hole. attention to the broom, dude. I did the broom for a little bit. That didn't Ooh. calm them down. So I started doing they the fifth did. element thing where, yeah, I shoot First a circle the... under their feet and have them fall down to my level. The broomstick and then the boomstick, and you just start shooting the shotgun up there. Yeah. Well, that'll be uh, an interesting conversation with the therapist later. <laughs> Your father did what? Uh, your your what? father's a what? A podcaster and a YouTuber? Oh my God. Get out of there. <laughs> you yeah. need to get the, the biggest flag. flag. No, uh, what was that? Uh, uh, the John McAfee. I think he had an incident oh, yeah. where he woke up in the middle of the night, thought someone was under his house and just unloaded a gun <laughs> into the floor. And, and his like, wife was asleep and she just gets woken up by machine gun <laughs> fire. Them just Dude, better, better safe the than sorry, though. If there had been a creature, <laughs> if, there's or like my, if my neighbor's cat is under the house, <laughs> yeah. I'm doing forty thousand dollars worth of flooring I, I, damage to get that fucker. If out you're of on that many drugs, as many drugs as John McAfee, then uh, it every it makes perfect sense. Yeah, and I've got C4 on all the important support beams in my house. <laughs> <laughs> if I hear a noise, I'm fucking blowing us all to. <laughs> oh hell. shit! I forgot the termite <laughs> guy was coming today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry about the uh, the front gate claymore. I forgot to turn that off. Oh man, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, rest in peace to John McAfee, the yeah. first guest of ours to commit suicide. Of many, of was many. he actually a guest? <laughs> yeah, he was yeah. a guest on here. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, huh. Brandon, when are, are you gonna commit suicide anytime? <laughs> Is this? I, I, I'm not <laughs> feeling like it today. It's kind of unusual, so we'll see what happens down the road. Do you have a I, don't love tread on me T-shirt on? It's uh, Sons of Liberty Gunworks. 
Oh, uh, is that like kind a, of like an AR another, Is that like a competing militia? Or are you guys? Yeah, like... yeah, it looks like they took the "Don't Tread on Me" snake and chopped it up in little pieces. Yeah, Holy I think shit. it's the original it's... American flag. I've always like heard the, uh, like a cut states. up snake what? is the easiest to walk on. I think when they're all together, <laughs> yeah. <that's> yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah, somebody oh, already shit. treaded on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Do not the lawnmower step on that. went over there. Tread on that bitch with a John Deere mower. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> oh man okay so yesterday i was at the grocery store and i went to uh <laughs> abby was waiting at the pharmacy for some medicine and i can abby's s- your wife i feel like we should yeah we should preface that up, this. But yeah preface yeah. um i can already smell the judgment coming from poo here but you know, while she was waiting at the pharmacy, I was you like, went and hey. banged the manager again. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to go stare at the tasty stuff at the bakery. All right. I'm not going to buy anything because then she would give me some guff. But I'm just going to go look at the well, cupcakes. They judge you for that. <laughs> because... It's a fucking grocery store conjugal visit to the bakery <laughs> section. Yeah. Yeah. I walk over there. I just look at the cakes. They're good looking. All right. I just want to stare at them for a little bit. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. Jesus and, Christ. And okay. So you're right. I am judging you. <laughs> Yeah. It's right next to the vegetable aisle, uh, right? In the vegetable aisle. So when Abby aisle, gets by, you start looking at the vegetables? No, no, no. When, when uh, she comes, uh, no, she she actually is still in the pharmacy line. While I'm looking at the cakes, I couldn't help but notice there's a lady in the vegetable aisle, like, seductively standing there, like, stroking the vegetables with, like, short shorts on that are, like, basically a thong. With her ass hanging out, okay. and she's what kind of short short? You mean they're like basically <laughs> yeah. like, like underwear? They're, they're, they're like, like no way short. They're like denim that has been cut to the point where it's basically a thong. A denim thong sounds like the least comfortable it, thing. It did not ever look heard. comfortable. Yeah, no, no. Awful. But in like model level hot, right? And that's not the weird part. the The weird part is that she's just being overtly sexual over there. The weird part I realized. Well, she was her husband or spouse or whatever is this crippled guy in a wheelchair. <laughs> so a rich crippled guy in a wheelchair. Yeah. I, get, I get the he was just like wheeling around like in his little hover around thing. Like was it like he had been injured? You think or he was like permanently? I think he was permanently. And and I get the That's feeling a- that his kink was that people were oogling his girl. Because he would, like, while she was doing it, he was, like, wheeling around, like, looking at her and looking at everybody else. Like, who's fuck? checking out my girl? And his little hover around thing. And yeah. then I saw them checking out together, and then they were, like, walking together in the aisles and stuff. Well, not walking together. Yeah. Semantics. She was pushing up. Yeah, but it was, like, together. some weird yeah. voyeuristic, like, I want to see people, like, eye fucking my girl <laughs> or something. Because I can't physically have sex with her. So that leads me to a couple of questions. One, what are the odds this was actually a spouse and not just like he just hires call girls to just walk around with him seductively through food that, lion? Oh, dude, you just made that Good even point. sadder. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. He's like, I'll, I am so not a man that I have to hire a woman to walk with me in the grocery store. I'm going to make even it worse. Have sex, just like walk with me. I'm, oh, I'm going to make it worse. The second one is how badly crippled is he? Because if he like is paralyzed from like the waist down, yeah. what if he just can't even have sex and that's the only way yeah. he can kind of get any sort of anything out of it it's just looking at other people just, maybe yeah. they were shopping for someone to have sex with her and, and, he was, and, he, and then he could sit there in the corner just and watching he, yeah. he's and a like, walmart pimp oh my god yeah. it's like a pimp cock or something I or what if they her, like, what's like, he gonna do run over me with his fucking hover yeah. like, <laughs> it's the worst pimp in the world he can't shake down anybody <laughs> Yeah, I didn't pay her. Fuck you. Stab his tire and walk yeah. out. <laughs> put, a, <laughs> put a wrench in the spokes of his back. fucking wheel. Step yeah. down off the curb. <laughs> what are you yeah. going to oh, do now? Oh, no. All I had to do is run upstairs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or what if they were just like happily married and just shopping for groceries and you're like, look at this disgusting yeah, look at this <laughs> free happy couple. And it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made me sick. <laughs> 
sir, you make me sick. Yeah. That's also a possibility. That could have been yeah. totally a thing. You should have gone over and looking asked. around. It was him looking at Sam weirdly because yeah. Sam was yeah. eye fucking her. Sam, Sam was hard <laughs> looking yeah. at cake, and then Sam went over and just stared at his fucking. Honey, why, is the, why is the guy in the Scooby Doo underwear flicking the, top, <laughs> yeah. the head of his cock? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's beat red yeah. right now, sweating. Yeah. And he's, he's been staring at us for like out. five minutes straight. I'm scared. <laughs> Wheel me out of here, and then what? You followed them through the aisles. Yeah, yeah, he started. <laughs> he started falling behind him with a cart and a camera. Well, he started like going so fast down the aisles and, <laughs> and yeah, run. Yeah, looking yeah. behind him, and and so I was like, "What's this guy running from?" So I had to figure out who he was running from. So I was chasing him down the aisles. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. But yeah, that's basically all that's happened to me this yeah. week. <laughs> that's the only time I left the house. That's crazy. He saw a handicapped guy and thought I, it was a whole story. I, I, I also uh, saw a midget, episode. by the way. That's pretty yeah. rare. <laughs> there was also one of those that there. Is fairly rare. That I it's think. a rare thing. They should there should be more of those. It's like well, God, there's like what one in one in like thirty thousand something like that. Like it's actually pretty rare. Why do you know oh, this like statistic? <laughs> I, I feel like yeah, I've I seen it before, and that. it's probably horribly wrong. Hold on, let me retain information to impress these podcast guys. Let's get. That's, that's exactly what I thought. And just retain this. <laughs> like retain this this one factoid, <laughs> just wait, wait, in case one day I'm one in, in thirty thousand. I don't. I'm, I'm, I feel like it's incalculable, uh, but we'll find out. I wrote, "Where are the There's, chances I get midget kid?" And then it's saying <laughs> that's different though. They have a fifty percent chance of having a child if you already have it in your genes. Yeah. At least so it's based on like if I guess. Oh God! Yeah. So you can have a. There's a fifty-fifty chance if you are a pregnant midget that you could just have to give birth to a full, whole ass size baby. Yeah, I used to watch Little People, Big World, and they had like two little person kids and one, uh, big person kid. I don't know what you call them I, in comparison. And yeah, uh, yeah it's like uh, there's definitely probably some jealousy in there i was about to say i remember them being very understanding to each other and like super mm. nice about it but you yeah, know they're... the normal size kid goes to bed at night god the countertops are no longer just a mountain i have to climb up to <laughs> like doorknobs are normal this is I don't yeah. sweat looking at a bar stool. <laughs> okay, yeah. so the number is uh, comes out to about one in twelve thousand in the U.S. Oh man! Whoa, that's way more. Well, it's, you don't see them because they're hiding underground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they usually mine all day. <laughs> you only ever really see school precious ones. metals and stuff. Yeah, yeah. gemstones. You you only see that's... the ones in public who bought their own freedom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that is... They've escaped the mine. <laughs> That's or why they're, they're so angry. Yeah, they're only the really rich ones. Yeah. yeah. Any midget you see in public is just loaded. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's weird. Because that, the, the, the one I saw was getting into like a 1998 Celica. Oh. <laughs> it's not, it did not seem to be uh, a loaded midget. Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. Did somebody take your pot of gold? <laughs> yeah. My, uh, my little sibling went to school. And they like there's an entire family there that were all like little people and the parents yeah were like a lawyer and a doctor. <laughs> they were definitely probably loaded. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to laugh at that. I'm Would just, you? Yeah. What, just, what's so funny? Uh, yeah, yeah, if you committed what, a felony what, and you were like, I want the best lawyer in town, yeah. and they're like, you could get this guy that's won 99 percent of his cases. He's a normal dude, or this guy who's won 100 <laughs> percent. But he's 100%. a midget. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah would, absolutely. Well, uh, the this guy is, is under his belt. This guy is going to be funnier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's like if you're doing an emotional plea to a jury, like <laughs> jury people are not the brightest people. They, I mean, they're stuck in jury duty. They're, They're gonna like be people. swayed a little bit by your little midget that's walking on the table, like yeah. with the papers <laughs> doing his like speech. <laughs> It's impossible for my client to have been there. It's like he's walking on the table. Either that or they're looking over the, the jury stand down yeah. at him. Like, <laughs> he like doing questioning or whatever. He gets on a high yeah. chair. <laughs> Uppy. Oh, Uppy. Uppy. <laughs> yeah, no, he points at the what's what's the He holds his hands up like a three year old. Yeah, he goes like <laughs> <laughs> the, the fucking police guy, the guard comes in, has to lift him up. And he's like, he starts asking him questions. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Maybe, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He has to be on the bailiff's shoulders the entire. They're <laughs> 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 like fucking Yoda. Yeah. Oh my god. 
<laughs> a little um, bag, yeah. 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 No, but, but no, that's seriously, crazy. Now that I know as... that there's like statistically like twenty little. I heard people they have normal sized penises, so like. Oh, I've, not, I've never known that, or I've never. I guess they have like they have like normal height penis. So they just they all are just normal packing. height penis. Yeah, who, <laughs> who measures penis size and height? <laughs> <laughs> when you're laying do, on your back right? and you measure that, are you basing that, off the yeah. floor or? <laughs> From the height, yeah, from the well. height of it. <laughs> now, my penis is eight inches from the floor. <laughs> you're yeah. just Your ass up is at you. In the you uh, I think it was um, on stream. We were, I was, I mean, I wasn't showing it, but I we went down a <laughs> rabbit hole of inverted penises. I think we were looking at, and that's a whole thing. I didn't. Oh, yeah, everybody so makes fun of people with micro penises, right? Inverted. But micro penises are gods to those inverted penis people. Like that inverted is, penis, as in like it's actually like recessed. Dude, it's a belly button with a little uh, urethra at the end of it. Yeah, that's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's although that, you know what, they really they really have min maxed life to have not painful kidney stones. That's oh. true. Yeah, and I'm oh, sure getting a, a catheter is a dream because yeah. they got like. Now they have a pee-pee. negative amount of urethra. Yeah. Like it just, yeah. they're right there. Uh, yeah, it's actually probably better. <laughs> yeah. So I they might watching. even make fun of them because yeah. it could be anyone. Yeah. You never know who has it. So, <laughs> yeah. I, they're actually probably really glad. But, uh, <laughs> you know, they can oh, actually so get boners still. Yeah. yeah, they can still like get boners and stuff. Guys. Yeah. They can still like come. <laughs> they it can pops s- out. They right? can still be <laughs> successful podcasters or anything in this yeah. world. Like, yeah. they can be Streamers, podcasters, YouTubers, anything. Yeah. Some of them are making gun thrones. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You don't uh, even need like a fleshlight. You just need like a very soft thimble. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, I would probably just a use like a vacuum cleaner or something at that point. I would just, I'd just touch it up with like a Q-tip. Rub it. <laughs> Yeah, just lube up the end of a Q-tip yeah, and just go to yeah. town. Would you like be fingering yourself? I guess if you, I would get, like, honestly, the... I would just get really into sounding or turn gay or something. Like, oh, what are your options at that point? I'd yeah, become like a you don't have to turn gay to like. What does that mean? To, uh, have, like, now I'm going to disappoint okay. men. I would be yeah. a heterosexual man that gets absolutely blown out by his wife. You can just get via pegging. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I forgot. I just, that. Yeah. I'd probably just buy a wheelchair and hire an escort. And that was very yeah. that was very ye old thinking of me to yeah. consider a man that gets his ass blown out to be gay. Sorry, and just say turn gay. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna turn on my gay switch, and now I'm gay, and I get my ass eaten out by my wife. <laughs> well, I guess I'd have to divorce my wife at that point. Get a husband. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <clears throat> so, anyways, what's the uh, you know Texas over there? Kind of like. I've noticed every YouTuber is moving out to Texas. We're building oh, a, uh, a harem of uh, people who don't have real jobs. Yeah. Uh. I, is like income tax over there? Like, is it not a thing? Because that's why I'm yeah, staying I, in Florida. I don't think like there's any state income tax here. You guys don't have income tax in no. Florida? What that's why fuck? you're staying there. Yeah. Oh my God. What the uh, fuck? I thought there's it was no well, way you know there's nicer income spots tax. in Florida, right? Like Texas. Yeah. Yeah, you can go to, like, a nicer area, right? <laughs> Move to Texas, join a radical militia. It would be great. That's Those are, I think, the only options. I think it's, it's like, Florida, Texas, and maybe, like, Nebraska or something doesn't have income tax. It's one of those weird country. Or what about Utah? States. Utah might not have any, but that's, like, Mars, man. I won't want to fucking live there. <laughs> yeah. That place fucking sucks. <laughs> They don't have Martians, yeah. but they do have Mormons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, close enough. About as close as you can get. Yeah, uh, yeah Indiana actually has like a lot of benefits too. But uh... I went to. <laughs> I didn't yeah. see this. Nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody's hankering to move to Indiana, dude. That is a, yeah. That's yeah. an yeah. escape state. To fucking Lake Syracuse uh, last year uh, during the summer in Indiana, and my God. That place, everything clo- like all the bars, restaurants, everything. Not because, like no lockdowns, nothing. All of them closed at like six o'clock in the afternoon. That entire town mm-hmm. is just fucking dead. I'm like, oh, you guys want to go get a drink? I'm like, no, sorry, it's seven o two. Like, yeah. what the fuck is this fuck. town? 
must have been in the wrong part because where I'm from, it's like a total party town. Like everyone's just getting crazy. Everything closes at nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Nine, well, right after the sun goes down in the summer. Yeah. No, I mean, there's parts of it that are okay, but yeah, overall, I'd say it's not the. It's not a very exciting place. It's not bringing anything. It's not bringing new people in. Really. Do you guys have like dry counties in Indiana? It seems like a place that would. Um. We have weird Indiana laws, like, for a long time, uh, like, all my childhood, you couldn't buy alcohol on Sundays, <laughs> and now you can't buy alcohol on Sundays after, like, 6 p.m. or something, and you can't get beer delivered to you cold. It has to be delivered, like, what? room temperature. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, like, really annoying that little... Just... That sounds like a spiteful <laughs> law. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It really Making is. Me because put it's ice like I'm still getting beer. it. Yeah, <laughs> I just have to now wait for a while after yeah, I get beer delivered. Like you can have it, but you can't enjoy it. <laughs> you will. You're not even allowed to refrigerate it. You must drink it warm. No. I have to watch you drink it warm. <laughs> You the, the, the beer delivery person has to <laughs> sit has there to while you chug one. Yeah. It. yeah. It's like the DoorDash picture where they have to like <laughs> take a picture of you chugging the, the <laughs> warm beer. Let's promote alcoholism more. It's like, yeah. well, this is for yeah. like a party late, dude. Like business stipulates. Like, I gotta I still, have, I have a, to go drive it's, it's, after this. So, like, yeah. you, gotta you have to chug it. one Come while on, I deliver it. I'm sorry. You can't make yeah. mixed drinks or have chasers <laughs> or hard hard liquor. Yeah, dude, I got really? another delivery in like no, five minutes. Can you drink that oh, faster? It's like... <laughs> oh, oh, I ordered a six pack, man. I can't. <laughs> they show oh. you how to more efficiently drink. They're like, you gotta do the swirl with the bottle, and then you can just uh. <laughs> suck it down. I mean, if your little brother over there help you out, huh? Like, I don't give a shit about how old you are. You just can't like it. <laughs> they have a rental beer bong that they bring around with them. Like, yeah, oh, if you need some oh, help. Go on now. Chuck it down. When I was in, um, I guess, I don't even know what, I guess it was like northern Georgia, maybe South Carolina. In the Appalachians, they had dry counties. But then one uh, one of the counties kind of went up at a point and was in between all these other dry counties and it wasn't a dry county. And so every convenience store you went to, they had a map that was like, you go down this road down here <laughs> yeah. and then that's where you can buy the beer. And like the road going to that, that person in that convenience store was making a fortune because everybody mm -hmm. that had, mm -hmm. I guess, agreed to have that stupid legislation for whatever i guess baptists or whatever like <laughs> whoever doesn't like drinking i don't know who those people are they Please were yes. also i think the same people that were just hauling ass down the road to go yeah. pick up beer uh, yeah. from that That's one that, little that joke station. about like uh baptists getting more progressive because they wave at each other at the liquor stores now hell yeah <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that was dude, that was my whole family. They they were secret alcoholics. Well, the whole every every one of them, except for my mom. My mom was a public one. She was. Yeah, was that's yeah. Per, it's progress. Way more fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's progress. Dude, don't be ashamed. It's, yeah. a, it's a play, like yeah. life hack. Don't be ashamed. <sighs> she was getting blasted and fucking that homeless guy that lived <laughs> under her business, right? <laughs> <laughs> The guy lived in the walls and underneath the place. <laughs> oh, wait, you never, you never heard of us. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that fucking thing. I'm I never a... told her about us making fun of the homeless man that she kicked out of the, the business. <laughs> but I went to go see, she's getting bullied out of work now because she's like, she's worked there for 40 something years and everybody that she knew, all of her colleagues have like died or retired and she's like a couple years from retirement oh. and all these young people have moved in they're like shut up you bitch get back in your office <laughs> shut up and she's like i saw one of my co-workers rip a fart in another co-worker's face and she's like she works for riot games she's yeah, like well, what yeah. happened to professionalism i'm like Mom, you used to tell me about your bosses like molesting you and shit. Like, what do you mean? What like, fuck? I would much rather yeah, they do it in a suit. Yeah. yeah. She's like, well, that was different. That was the 80s, you know? It's normal for uh -huh. Don Draper to come in and shove his cock in your face while you're filling out a memo. It's not normal for your female say... colleague to rip a fart near you. He'd say so many sweet things, though, yeah. while he did it. He'd call me doll. He'd say, hey, doll, yeah. come suck on my pecker. <laughs> And she, and she was like, it was classy and stuff, and we drank at, at lunch breaks. 
Yeah, yeah. No, we'll just give her nuggies and fart in her face. <laughs> yeah, <it's>, she's <laughs> like a very much a high yeah. school bully. She'll yep. like fucking yeah. working there. There's women in positions of power and they fart. It's gross. I yeah. hate it. Ooh, for flinching. <laughs> yeah. Just... yeah. Uh, you lost me at the first part. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> man, that's a poor woman. Yeah. What is she going to do? I guess you'll have to take care of her. Yeah, I guess. She's kind of hinted at that a couple times because I. Maybe I could move in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and then the new place has a lot of room, but 90% of it is just studio space for me. And I'm like, there is no room for you, lady. Like, we've made sure each room is very important. Like, it's been designated as something other than where other people can crash in here. It would be funny, though, if, like, while you're doing your green screen bits, your mom's just in a sleeping bag on the ground. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm hungry, Sam. You, Shut you, up. Went, you, went, you ruined, ruined her bag. <laughs> You've already planned to run it too. Like the, it's like a green screen colored sleeping bag too. Like, so you just see her head popping out. Yeah, you see the back of her head. Every one yeah. of them. It just looks. Shut up, bitch! I'm putting the roof over our heads. It just looks like a severed head laying on the floor. There's so many other rooms here. Please. And he'll never, and he never you gotta sleep in, in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> this room's scary. <laughs> I don't know which way's up anymore. Like, yeah. <laughs> you just, it's, it's like a sensory deprivation chamber yeah, after a while. <laughs> Uh, screen everywhere. Where does the wall turn into the huge floor? Mo- where huge does the floor turn everywhere that ceiling? show her in like a blank space <laughs> with just her head. And just, ah, yeah. <laughs> Every time you leave, you just turn the lights out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Green colored lights turn on and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I made the mistake of of uh, one of our friends. Uh, Bizzle, he's talking about coming and visiting and I was like, I bought a couch just specifically that he could sleep on when he gets here because I don't have any furniture and she's like, oh, so there's like a place for guests and I was like I felt like telling her he's just going to take it with him like he's going to no, 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 I just bought it for him he's going to get a U-Haul we're never going to have a couch, mom Sorry, we're never going to have furniture Jesus Christ get some goddamn furniture just for yourself your head, you dumb bitch I can't buy furniture. <laughs> the most I can well, afford kids. for you is a lime green sleeping bag. And that's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> uh, I'm you thinking of work. future therapy sessions with the kids. Like, and that's why we only had lawn chairs in the living room for several years. He's got thousands and thousands of dollars of camera equipment, but we don't have a couch in our house. <laughs> Uh, his yeah. friend took it with him <laughs> yeah. to California. We had, we had a couch so for a very short time. Sleepover. Yeah. Oh, it's man. the best week ever before Bizzle showed up. <laughs> <laughs> we got to sleep on a couch. We could all sit on the couch for a little bit. Bizzle, you want a fridge or a stove or anything? <laughs> like, uh, oh, man. Yeah, my, my dad also... <clears throat> he mentioned the same thing because he... He was like, hey, notice you got a new place with more than two bedrooms. You want to, I don't have to stay at a hotel when I come up, do you? And I was like, ooh, fresh out of, we just don't have room for anybody else to stay. (laughs) You're a piece of shit. You got to make a guest bedroom or something. I don't want them in my fucking house, dude. I don't, I just, I I (laughs) don't want it. Anyway, it's no, just they're, the no, they're gonna they're gonna come over and they're gonna stay at a hotel and then they're gonna come over for like the lunch and dinner and stuff. I don't want to like wake up and then be here. <laughs> oh, my mother and father, <laughs> <laughs> they're getting back oh, together. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, they're fucking in the guest bedroom. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Dude, this is it? all I wanted as a kid, and now I just don't want to look I, at it. Am I the only one with this sentiment? Brandon, do you have are you in a tight relationship with your parents? Yeah, pretty pretty tight. Would you invite them? Would you let them sleep over at your place? I would prefer not to. Yeah, see? Yeah. If well, you, I, 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 nothing would, wrong with it, but would your mom you say hey, from would, your home? So would you couldn't? rather <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. If but. your mom said, "Would you rather us rent a hotel like down the down the road, or would you rather buy a, a bed?" We'll be able for to buy to groceries on? if we rent that hotel. But <laughs> yeah. 
No, Did, yeah, no. I my my parents are actually coming down to visit me fairly soon, and they they didn't even ask. They just like, oh no, we're just gonna find an Airbnb or a hotel, and I'm like, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Do they do they know about your gun obsession? Oh, absolutely. They yeah. they oh, yeah. uh yeah they, they fostered it. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Oh, are they like gun gun people too? No, like my <clears throat> dad's just kind of like you would probably say typical, you know country dude just yeah had a couple guns things like that and took me shooting it when i was young and then he just like when i was like 18 19 like hey you're going a little whole hog on this gun thing uh <laughs> Ooh, you, well, you get along with all your on. teachers right <laughs> yeah so school right you're good in school <laughs> yeah. no bullies or anything <laughs> yeah this is coming from a good place right <laughs> my my dad taught me how to shoot on a gun that if you shook it really hard, it would fire. <laughs> oh, oh god, that's a feature. Wow. Yeah, and 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 so like it's cool. Yeah, it's like a little bolt action, like twenty two, and you you like if the barrel isn't really connected to the stock all that well, so it like kind of yeah. rattles around. But I remember if you like took it and like shook it forward, it would just. You dropped it, you... And so then he was like, you need to be really careful because like if it, you know, if you like load it and then prop it up against a tree and it falls or something, it's just going to blast. Oh my God. And I was like, <laughs> and, and then once he told me that, like uh, as soon as he wasn't looking, I was like, let's see how accurate I can shoot without pulling the trigger. And so I'd like load it and just uh, like, try to slap it forward and shoot it. Oh, that'd be a great gun for booby traps. It would be. Yeah. Like a, like a bop it. But one of the things is like a barrel. You just set it on the top of a door frame, and when they open it, it falls and <laughs> yeah, hits falls. the ground. Bop it. Foot Twist off. it. <laughs> yeah. Shake it. Yeah. <laughs> you can do something other than pulling the trigger, because that way... Be pulling the trigger is so overused. It is. It's Talk just about a, a firearm cliche. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's with shaking. It's like more of a yeah. I wanted to feel like I'm getting ketchup out of a bottle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you should. You know what you should do butt, uh, is butt of it. Brandon. Most of these gun guys are super like homophobic and stuff right so you gotta make one okay. where like They're you told me gay. before the know. podcast you're like i hate games <laughs> that's what you told me so you, you should make a gun you do custom <laughs> gun work where in order to pull the trigger you have to suck on a dildo and like after oh. a certain amount of suction oh. then, then it, it would goes fire off. yeah <laughs> then it and blasts. so that's as good then as that's as worse. close as you can get to like one of those uh like the judge dread gun where it only fires when it's in his hand you know <laughs> Like, if you give a regular Texas guy one of those and be like, do you want to shoot me? Go ahead. Start sucking, buddy. <laughs> yes. <They're, laughs> you yeah. prove, like, never prove your shot. dedication to wanting this. Yeah. How long do you have to suck on it? Like, is it a... <laughs> it's like, no, I, I think of it as like those steering wheels that have the locks either. after your like third DUI mm -hmm. and you got to blow on the breathalyzer uh, to yeah. you know, start your car. I'm not gotta blowing on nothing. <laughs> you just and the more... <laughs> The God. more it, the more incidents you have, the longer it gets too. So like if you <laughs> shot like three people before, it's like a twelve inch hog hanging out the. End of the <laughs> oh my God! The, the, the gay serial the shooter like, you, enjoys the shit, shit out of it. If this Your guy whipped out like sucks. a revolver and this giant fucking like anaconda, you'd be scared shitless. Yeah, yeah, you'd this shit guy, your pants. This guy shot a lot of people. The oh my God! And the <laughs> well, speaking of the whole Pavlov's dog thing, then he, then he gets the only way he can get sexual gratification from now on is if he's shooting someone. Yeah. The yeah. link is yeah, too my... heavy. Yeah. Yeah, Sammy might not have thought that through all the way. I didn't. Yeah, there's gonna be some horn dog that's like, I wasn't a serial killer until I realized the thrill. <laughs> wow, they added my two favorite things. <laughs> yeah. If I shoot this guy, I get to suck a free cock. Wow. And it gets bigger every time automatically <laughs> yeah. somehow. It's no, they guaranteed. have to have a guy install a bigger one. Yeah, okay, yeah. guys to come We're be like, come yet. on, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. man has to come to your house and like just look you in the eye as he's installing a bigger I know guy. what you had to do to get me here. <laughs> fifth one this yeah, week, yeah, huh? Yeah, self-defense. Yeah. Yeah. Please tell me it was self-defense. This is my third time here this month. <laughs> I had a special wow. order this trigger. <laughs> yeah. And you specifically wanted it this color? Okay. <laughs> like you wanted it ribbed, alright. Do you put uh, in requests to your mandatory <laughs> fucking dildo suck? Yeah. I don't know, Sam. Can you? This is your <laughs> world you've created. This isn't a world, dude. I'm talking to the gun Oh yeah. Modder. But you can himself. make like any like, gun, right? Yeah, we're starting to come. I want you to abandon you your YouTube channel gun? and start 
development on this dildo gun immediately. <laughs> I, I feel Companies. like there yeah. is a uh, a small but dedicated market that this could apply to. And then we could make shirts where yeah. it would be a cock that has been cut up a bunch and it'd be like, don't suck on me or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the equivalent? the, no, the lock logo already looks like it says cock. So this should uh, be pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, we could get a partnership with Glock. <laughs> Cock, suck on me. I remember I had a girlfriend in high school who uh, somebody was wearing a Glock shirt. And she literally thought it said cock, and then but the the sub tag was, it's a shooting sport. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> dude, that actually would be great. They had a cock shirt like that. Cock shooting sport. <laughs> All right, you're about to be really upset with me because uh -oh. I I uh, uh -huh. you know I got like a family and stuff, right? And so if someone tries to break in and like steal something and I don't know that they're going to steal something. You know, I'm like, I don't want my daughters killed or whatever. So I bought a pistol, right? Where's the safety on a Glock? Like, they, I can't, it ain't got no button where the button usually go on the pistol. So Glocks don't have, well, they don't have an external. <laughs> like, they, have an, they have an internal. God. Yeah, he's just gone. Uh, uh, they have an internal safety. Oh, okay. So it's like a trigger was, safety I tried to too. line up the gun that I bought with the gun from Half-Life Alex, and it's nothing it, nothing in common. I was like, the safety's in a totally different place. Their their guns can vary quite a bit. Mm. I wasn't sure if I was being <laughs> fucked with or probably a little bit. What with the with the, with Glock, the Glock thing? thing? No, it's it's in a safe, and I was just like, this bitch is just hot and ready to go. Like, yeah, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, th I have it in like one of those little fingerprint safes, and I was like, I guess is I just pull this sucker out and let it rip because there's no pretty much. Yeah, my wife's like, where's the safety? I was like, <laughs> beats me. Yeah, they, they don't have one, and that was really funny when they first started issuing it to law enforcement because there was like a five year period where you know everybody's getting used to the new platform, and a lot of cops shot themselves. Like oh nice. a lot. That is a pretty funny. I hilarious. Time yeah, that's is, a pretty uh, funny time period there. when <laughs> cops are shooting themselves. Yeah, it didn't I really always think test my through, safety yeah. with like 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 this. Just <laughs> <laughs> <Is this> thing <laughs> safe. Yeah. Well, they always shoot themselves in the head. <laughs> yeah. 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 Make sure it's safe. Yeah. Where's the safety? Like, Exit wound through the front of the face. <laughs> Yeah. Make is this sure thing loaded? I, yeah, make sure I have an open casket. Can't have an open <laughs> casket. Test the safety backwards. Yeah. There was some guy locally, like in the I think it was in like the early 80s. He um he was he was found at the end of a road, shot in the stomach twice, no gun to be found, and the local cops were like, Yeah, that's a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> like they just they just didn't feel like figuring it out, I guess. And everybody's like, that is the most not suicide thing I've ever heard in my life. Like he Yeah. His truck was idling, like it had ran out of gas. He was shot twice, like in the abdomen, <laughs> like he had wandered away in agony and then died bleeding out, like in the woods. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to go if I lost gas, I'll just shoot myself. Yeah. yeah. Gun shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe use the finger gun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, maybe yeah. he didn't know the safety. Maybe he, maybe he was married and he went out to the woods to go suck some cock. And he didn't, <laughs> yeah. he didn't know it was the prototype life. penis pistol that we had developed. Yeah, yeah. And he was sucking it, shot himself in the gut when he did it really well. Yeah. Oh, and then he was having enough fun that he kept going and shot him again. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh. Oh, this is Mama, so fatal. Oh, Mama didn't raise no Twitter <laughs> one more time. Yeah. I'm so close. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. I was only sucking for like five seconds. Personal best. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Yeah. By the way, the uh hey, there we go. <clears throat> fucking the patrons are still blowing up my fucking phone, dude. We we're supposed to do several episodes this month. It's the 14th, and we haven't done one yet, and so they're screaming. Yeah, well, I, I, I did say we should have done one last week. but We should have, but I was busy working on stuff. You know what we should do is we talked about this before. Where we do three at the beginning of one month, and then we wait until the end of the next month. So there's like a good 50 days of them just getting nothing, nothing, just complete that does not sound good. <laughs> radio silence. We do three episodes, just bang, 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 like all in one day. And then we get so ornery. I know. If I, you want, uh, I just want to see him scream. Wait. That's all I want. So you do three at the beginning and then three at the end of the next month. So yeah. that's a huge gap. It's a huge oh gap. God. But technically, we, 
there's no paperwork here, all right? Like, we're not contractually bound to do three episodes a month. We just told them that. Yeah. And You're just going to punish them for us being late by making it <laughs> yeah. even more insanely late you next time. Oh, you thought it. that was bad? No, because it, all of a sudden, like, Stalt's coming to me, and he's like, dude, the patrons are upset. Poob comes to me, dude, the patrons are upset. And I was like, who's the boss here? Them or me? No. And now oh, it's a power you. struggle between me and the people, you know? And then yeah, and, so. they, and they're going to say, like, we pay the bills because we're the patrons. And I'm like, but that's weird because my name's on the check. All right, that goes straight to Poop's bank account. And you're going to show them your new cereal sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> they pay the bills now. I don't yeah. need you anymore. Yeah, I don't gonna need get a World the of Worship I, sponsorship. I got yeah. Magic Spoon <laughs> Cereal Company or whatever. And boner gum. Yeah, we don't need you anymore. You guys think you're hot shit? Just wait till you see my new side piece, Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah. 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 I haven't done I one of those a... yet. They keep emailing me, and I was like, dude, when... they'd probably give you so much money. They're worth it. Are they worth yeah, it? Do it. Do yeah. it. I was like, they... when when I, I run out of one, cereal or something, then I'll I'll do that shit. But I, I could just get paid in cereal. Paid in cereal. When I run out of cereal <laughs> and I need more, <laughs> he's a family man. He needs fucking cereal. Dude, for his if kids. you pay me in <laughs> pop tarts and diapers and shit, juice boxes, yeah. I'll be there. All right. Raid Shadow Legends, Dude. they don't, they just give me dollars. Raid, like that does Raid nothing Shadow for me. Legends is useless. It's like yeah. they don't understand trade. Yeah. When I, when I had like way less viewers, they were the only people that reached out. And they haven't reached out since, which tells me that I might have fucked it up. I think I fucked up my relationship with them because the whole time I'm like, oh God, this game sucks. But that was not. I would do it. Yeah. Well, I thought, okay, Raid Shadow Legends is actually like a fun game compared to their okay, other you game. don't have Viking. to sit there and yeah. like no vikings war he's trying to repair yeah he's trying to repair the don't relationship use this platform yeah. to repair yeah. Yeah. No, that no, no, relationship. but they're like they're also like just cool guys and girl, gals they're just like really down to earth they're and no, I hate them. no they're chinese i hate dealing they, they, with them but they pay well they just paid so much yeah and it was super <laughs> and i only had to stream it for like two hours and that was it oh you had to and stream I, it yeah. Oh yeah. shit. That's dude. Yeah. That's you're the only person I, that I can talk to that is that doesn't focus on stream related sponsors. But dude, Brandon, <laughs> I do not envy those streamer guys. Right? Like we can, we have to just <clears throat> sound talk excited for, like for a ninety seconds, second right? clip. Yeah, they have to. Poop has to sit there with a shit eating grin on his face for two hours. <laughs> oh the my god, this are is the best game. Good. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's yeah. why I'm like, people are like, why don't you stream more? I'm like, well, I, like there are times where I when I enjoy streaming, but yeah. the, also it's so much more work. Yeah, like I, so I, much. I just like the uh, I like my chat. Like the, it's kind of <laughs> I'm in a good point where it's like actually a lot of people in it that are like kind of funny and. I just kind of, you know, like the interaction of it. But yeah, the ads, they fucking suck. It's just like, play play this, play the worst mobile game you've ever played for five hours straight and say only good things. And so when I did their, their other game, mm -hmm. Vikings, it was like genuinely one of the hardest games to play I've ever played in terms of like, I was like, this is so bad. <laughs> and so the whole time I would just be like, ah, like, ah, like, oh, I stubbed my toe. Sorry, it had nothing to do with the game. And like the whole time I was just very obviously upset. And then they, they never emailed me and all the reps I was in a discord call with left one by one. And I was like, there was one of them left. I'm like, that seems like a good sign. Like I'll probably get a sponsorship again. And then they left too. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, I burned that bridge. And that I that to, last guy was the one who vouched for you, man. Yeah, so he's, he's good. Oh, he, he's, he's you were the chosen one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just, you know, he just I, his my last sponsorship fell through to World of Warships because Sam told me to try to ask for more money, and then they just said, "Fuck you." Who do you, who do you <laughs> think did. you are? Yeah, <laughs> and so yeah, they didn't reply to any of my emails. I've never seen that before. What the hell? Even the subsequent, like, "I'm sorry, I'll do anything. I'll take a pay cut." They just thought I was pathetic. So. Mm. When they weird. were about to reply, uh, offering you more money, yeah, and then they saw the, the second follow up. They're like, "This guy's just a fuck." Yeah, they saw yeah. like a hundred <laughs> emails. Basically, that went according to plan yeah. for me. I was just yeah. like, "Let's fuck this guy," because I, I don't like you getting alternate sources of income because that makes you less reliant on me. You know? True. <clears throat> Did you see? I was on the ga gamer hole intro this week. No, I Wait, didn't see that. Go check it. I was on. The, I was on a 
competitors podcast. Yeah, don't do that. On, on the intro. I just did it to spite you. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure you signed a contract not to do that. <clears throat> yeah, there's like a non compete, which Brandon, I'll yeah. email that to you. So you're, yeah, you're, not you're barred to go back from on doing PKA. any podcast for the next like six months or something like that. That sounds reasonable. <clears throat> no. Could, that's actually not the worst right. I've seen. And no sponsorships. Yeah, also. no sponsorships. Right, you have to no, direct no, all sponsorships to us. <laughs> yeah. So how did you but, get gaslit into fucking uh, losing all your sponsorship revenue? Well, I went on this podcast with this guy. <laughs> and you're just going to trick me in the paperwork again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Small print. Now yeah. I know why he was so eager like, on Twitter to get me on the fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah. He's like, look at this. Another fucking pay pig. Fuck yeah. 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 All right. I don't want to be here anymore, but I have to be. Because my bills have added up. I, mean, I took on a lot of credit card debt. Oh he promised God. me, yeah, I would be here forever. And every week he's like, I could have you off this fucking podcast and no one would even notice. It's they, like they not would, a good environment. They would definitely notice. <laughs> there, would be, there would be, there would be definitely now. a decline where, because <clears throat> my heart's just not in it anymore, you know? Yeah, you've got no love for this. I have none. I ever used to have a left passion. The solo. Like, yeah, yeah, ever since I've had to, you know, coordinate with, <laughs> You two fucking animals. And then half the time, like, we keep having to push the time back and everything. And we keep having to wait for somebody. you've got a wife and kids. They're holding you back. Somebody has to air yeah, dry their hair because a towel isn't good enough for them or a well, fucking hair dryer. Well, you don't get these curls another, any other way. But. Or it's 1 p.m. and I'm like, where's Poob? Call him. He's like, oh, sorry. I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru. That's how the only, my, my only source well, of food. I, bu I bought a latte machine, okay? So it's just, that's never going to happen There's so many again. snags along the way to just making an episode or sometimes like you have a guest and you're like hey like i tweet at them and then like they're like oh that's like the normal oh, everyone like everyone gets some of yeah it. everybody gets some normally <laughs> when someone tweets at you yeah, then that you follow them back so you can continue the conversation in dms and then you like tweet at them a second time going like hey like reply to that email i just sent you again and then they don't follow you that second time or do they don't respond to the emails either yeah <laughs> What is that? Oh, he's hitting follow. Oh, right. You should have blocked him. All right, now I'm blocked. Yeah, now oh, I'm yeah, blocked. Oh, yeah, that's all I want to Check it again real quick. Yeah. Uh, oh, right, there's a bug. Let me see. But, but yeah, yeah, the, the and, whole process you, of coordinating stuff. It's what actually a, like the easiest job in the world, though. Well, really. Yeah, no, no, it's no, no, easy no. in comparison Nine hours to like a month? working in the coal mine. Are you yeah. kidding me? Mm. Nine hours a month of working time? <laughs> you expect me to do this shit? Yeah, it's true. Any, sorry. No, yeah, please. Any influencer is like the most difficult. Working with influencers is like hurting cats. It's our We're egos. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, it's our insane <laughs> egos. God. Have we even had like an influencer like type on here though? Not really. Well, well content creators probably. Yeah. But you mean oh, yeah. like an Instagram like Yeah, I was thinking like fashion was, person? Yeah. We stick oh, more God, to like never. gamers and We've had Bizzle. Stuff like that. Oh, yeah, he's kind of uh Oh, yeah. You talking about no, okay, okay so okay bizzle it, he's i i don't know how personal i can get into this someone just influences someone, you no no someone wronged him in life and he is so fuck the, so wrong bizzle is so such wrong. a calm and collected dude this guy gets wronged right <laughs> by a person that's an instagram influencer but small time and he is so pissed off about it that he out of spite I might have influenced him to do this because <laughs> this is a move right out of my, my playbook. Yeah. yeah, he uh, he made an Instagram just to fucking stomp on them, and we're gonna pump up the numbers on it just so that he flash the shit right on the screen. Boom. Yeah, yeah. By the way, if you're if you're listening to this, his Instagram is at Super Dracula Da Vinci. Um, he does like fitness stuff. And it's like 90% is actually art. just animation. Yeah, yeah. animation and animation. stuff. <laughs> Incredible yeah. art. Yeah, art and stuff. Incredible you know, body. Inspiring body. stuff. Yeah, he's got yeah. like a six pack and, yeah. and all that. And yeah. uh, every time I call him to do stuff, he's like, sorry, I'm at the gym. <laughs> fucking loser. He's, that's so badass. That is fucking lame. That's lame. And uh, I've been, I noticed that Brandon's kind of, he's a little bit yoked. You got some, you do a lot of gym working out. Not nearly as much as I should. Yeah. Um, I used to do a lot more, and then I, well, got fucking lazy and drank a lot. 
It's so. Yonsville, dude. You just get in there and you're like five minutes in, you're like, holy shit, is this boring? This is yeah. the most boring thing in the world. That's why you do it in front of a TV. That's why you have a TV in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I have to listen boring. to something like podcasts yeah. or some shit yeah. just to kind of uh, like take my mind off the fact that I'm fucking working out. Uh, yeah. But any podcast ever, that's like worth listening to is usually pretty bitch. funny and I couldn't like do cardio and laugh at the same time. <laughs> like is that... <laughs> I don't, well, I don't, I don't also. I also don't do cardio. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you ever eat an egg raw, like Rocky Balboa style, when you were working out a lot? No, never for fitness reasons. You ever been what retarded, for like Rocky Balboa style? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ever yeah, run I, upstairs? I took <laughs> one. <laughs> I took one it, like as part of a shot. I forget what you call it, but. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. So whatever, what like tequila about? plus a raw egg or whatever, and I no shit almost fucking vomited immediately. Yeah, I definitely would have. Yeah. Even yeah. just like tequila, I'm not a big fan of. And then adding a yeah. egg. Well, I think if you can eat a raw egg, you can probably take equation. a cum shot and swallow it. So that's something you <laughs> Dude, should probably. I, I kind of wish I was just the guy that could just take a cum crack shot. Three, oh. Yeah, and crack three <laughs> eggs into a cup then and drink just it. drink it. Because it's like, I mean, making an egg is like one of the easiest things. But what if I didn't even have to? <clears throat> what if I could just drink it? Just min max life. Yeah, mm. put some salt and pepper in that cup and egg. <laughs> what 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 do you do with the four minutes that you save? There is a certain <laughs> fucking. There's a certain up. level of effort that separates <laughs> us, but from like animals. All right, like yeah, the fact that like you spend that four minutes at the stove cooking an egg. Yeah. Is what separates I'm you not... from a raccoon that just eats it out of the shell. All right, yeah. like well, I come wish on. I could uh, just. Yeah, I wish I was like <laughs> a raccoon, basically. Yeah, just put a I straw just into go the, the shell. grocery store and just eat right off the <laughs> yeah, shell. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. Just right. open That's up true. the fucking cookie rack and just start fucking mowing down in the yeah. middle of food land. That is, that would be a slippery slope if I just started eating eggs out of shells and then and next hiss, thing I know, hiss at anybody who tries yeah. to stop you. I see yeah. a bird nest in a tree and I'm scrambling up there to get a robin egg. Right here. Yeah. Egg. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to become egg crazy. That's true. That could be that could a be road bad. kill on the side yeah. of the highway. And like, mm, all right, well, it looks like free real estate. <laughs> we'll make some jerky out of that. Yeah. I don't worry. I'm already ordering DoorDash like twice a day. If I skip breakfast, which is like the easiest meal to make, I'm. By drinking egg, I'm yeah, so fucking egg. done with DoorDash. <laughs> they just forget what, they half forget of your, your shit. drink. They for, no, you if get you a do like a right one away, person though. thing, it's perfect. It's not even DoorDash. Oh, that's what I do. Yeah, like every time. If you just order like one meal, they're like, "Oh, boom! I'm picking up one meal," and they walk out. But if you do like any sort of family shit, they just go in there and pick up the bag and they go, "This feels like enough for four people," and they walk out. They don't actually check. Are you check tipping it. poorly? No, or I, 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 I'm, I've stopped using it, but I, I figured if I tip well, then they would give me like priority special treatment. They would check the order, whatever. I, I'll tip like insanely know. well. They'll just go up there and pick up my shit, drive to somebody else's house across town <laughs> to drop yep. it off, and then come to my house. My shit's cold. They're missing yeah. half my food. And I'm like, yeah. fuck you. And the so then I give off. them a oh. one star review. And then the people I told people on Twitter that I was like, if you pick up my food, go to somebody else's house, you're getting a one star review. And all these like DoorDash people are like, we're going to lose our job if you do that. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck you. Starve. They're, yeah. Yeah. they're like, DoorDash makes us do the double thing. I was like, fuck them. Like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> you no, my job. I tipped. You go to me first. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> they don't see that until after. You know that, yeah, right? Oh, well, then why am I tipping them anything? Like, fuck. <laughs> for the goodness of your heart, I don't I know. Fuck them. They can starve they for all I care. It, it's because they don't want they don't I want tip. people to say like why a low why tip do they ask me to tip food. before the service has even been provided? I don't know. At a restaurant, so you, they to think about you it. see this the menu price, you're like burger, fifteen dollars, whatever, that's fine. And then after it, they give you your receipt. And you go, yeah. This is the charge of all the shit you ordered. And then there's the little line where you provide me with a little bit extra, depending on how I gave you your food, if you liked it. I'm not no, tipping these people shit. extravagantly before they even pick up my food, you know? Fair. And then they the show up pass? and then they, what's, I am not buying a premium. Is there a dash pass? Is there like a, a there's, there's a yearly like a yeah. season dash pass, pass for DoorDash? Yeah, like yeah. What does it like do? A, 
you can get like rewards skins and stuff and <laughs> like challenges no it's yeah it's just it takes off the delivery fee on like a lot of stuff and you get discounts and if you're high enough do they can stop make the fucking delivery up their delivery costumes? What? No. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> they, I, the, thing, the thing that drives me fucking crazy is that like I'll be craving one particular thing. Like if it's like let's just say it's like a shake at Five Guys or some shit. I'm just like, ooh, that just sounds really fucking good right now. I'll order like a burger, shake, whatever. The only thing that will not be in it is the one thing I want. Yeah. When he gets oh the, comes to the door, I'm like, I. Yes, I'll get a refund on that one small order of it, but I don't even want the rest of this. I just ordered it so I'd get over the twelve bucks, so I get like, yeah. free delivery. Yeah. Hitting the minimum sucks on all this stuff. Not yeah, with like, uh, five guys. Bottle of water. I ordered five guys. I spent like thirty dollars on a, a, like the smallest burger they had and fries. And I was like, holy it, shit! It, it like always oh, comes yeah. out to after tip like twenty eight bucks, thirty dollars. Like it's way too much money. Yeah, their fries suck too. Fuck them. I really. No, I, I mean, like anywhere. I'm in. Um, I'm in the minority. I love their fries. I don't know why. It, it's like a qual- quantity over quality thing. They're like, well, our fries are pretty mediocre, so here's like four pounds of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can I'm give okay them fifty sometimes. perfectly cooked fries, or we could give them a whole bag <laughs> of undercooked fries <laughs> that are greasy yeah. and not even in the cup anymore. We'll just pile them on there. The Costco approach. Yeah. It was. It was weird that happened to me the other day. I, I got a haircut, and then I went to like. One of the nicer, I think, breakfast places in Indy where everyone's like, yeah, people f- come in from all over to go here. I hop. I, there was a wait. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, I hop. And yeah, it's the Indiana House of Pancakes. It's totally different. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, and like, I got there and there's a little bit of a wait. And I, they're like, how many people? Oh, one. And they're like, we can sit you. There's a group of seven over there. They're waiting on a couple of people. We can sit you at the end of their table. I was like, what? Join in? What? Yeah, no, I was like, I didn't like fully comprehend it. Like, this all... is right up my alley. I could just yeah, no, break I, into no, a no. crowd of it people. It was the most horribly oh. awkward <laughs> breakfast of my life because there was also a bar. Oh, yeah. The wait was really You're not long. a second class yeah. citizen. You're a no, patron, no, no, just no. like everybody else. No, no, no. Well, okay, I'm also thinking like, I'll be sitting there for like, what, a minute? Because like they're waiting on some other people. I'm like, this is a nice place. They're not going to just put me at a table with other people when they know I'm not a part of their party. <laughs> and that's exactly what they, like no separation. Like I'm just at the end of their table and they had like three people already there. I'm like, Hi. <laughs> Like, this is weird. They just sat me here, and they're all like, oh, no worry. Like, sit down. Like, what the fuck? Did they try to talk to you? <laughs> no, good. not really, which was, yeah, good, but also maybe made it more awkward. Because I was awkward, just kind of like, yeah. like twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> and then I ordered food, and they brought me, like, my food and a drink, and I'm just sitting there, and their whole ass party comes in, and the whole table's full. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? And, like, they're like all adult friends meeting other friends there. And I could tell they come in, they're like, who, who is this guy? And they're like, hi. What? I'm like, oh, no, I'm not with you. Like, I'm, <laughs> just, a ran- I'm, a, I'm just a random guy that they sat here like, yeah. because there was an open seat. That hostess and should be executed. I, I know. Yeah, and I think they started realizing like how awkward it was. And they were like, <laughs> they're like a, a table cleared out. We can put you over there if you want or if you want to stay here. And the people were like, said no, no, they were like, you're fine no. to stay here. I'm like, you know what? Like, I, I'll just go take the other table. Like, it's fine. And they were all like, oh, like, oh, so sorry we made you move. Like, what? Like, the table was really oh. nice. It was just so fucking weird. I'm so sorry I... both of us were put in this situation. <laughs> yeah. I know. And the manager came over and was like, yeah, sorry about, that. like, that was weird, huh? Like, free, <laughs> free drink on us. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, why would all they the ever do that? Milk you want. I've had yeah, the exact they... opposite happen uh, where I was at this place called Shanghai Joe's in New York. Boxed. Oh. And, uh, me and Abby went to go eat there, and they had these giant circular tables that sit like 10 people, and they just kind of, they have like six of them. And so when you roll up, they're like, here, just great. You sit at these two chairs at this <laughs> communal table. So kind of like Benihana, like bar or something. I don't know. There's big circle tables. So I, I sat okay. there with Abby, and like I thought this was like, yeah, like a hibachi type deal where you could, yeah. it's not rude to talk to the people next to you apparently like the people that are there a lot yeah 
I so we like talked to tried to talk to them and they like rolled their eyes and they were because they were like talking this way and they like rolled their eyes like what do you want like why are you yeah. speaking to me oh my God. and we we're like oh I guess this is like a thing where you just don't talk to other people you should have spit in their food I should have <laughs> yeah they well they yeah, taught they taught they did they were kind enough to teach me how to eat one of those soup dumplings. You didn't know how to eat a dumpling. A soup dumpling? Yeah. It's like eating an alien or something. Like it's it has like the <laughs> skin and then you have to like poke you put it in a spoon and then you poke a hole with the thing and then you like drink the placenta. Oh, maybe out of I've it. never and, never had that. Oh god. It's it's a whole ordeal. Uh, I mean, how you do put, you eat this dumpling? <laughs> and they're like well, these yeah, goddamn that's, Florida that's, freaks. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the heck? It's it, like a jelly. It's like an alien or something. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> They were like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. They rolled their <laughs> eyes. Oh, right. Sir, sir, can you teach me how to eat this, please? My wife and I don't know how to eat this. Okay, like, Brian, you've heard Abby talk, right? She's got, like, a southern yeah, accent, but yeah. it's not, like, insane. And, and uh, I don't think I have, like, a super southern accent. No, you don't have a southern okay. accent. You're not, you not at all. My yeah, kid, yeah. my three-year-old, yes, sure. has started, like, she's Fruit and like, Hi, yeah, she's like, it's on my hand. I'm like, oh, no, you, no, you're no. not in a trailer park. Like, why the fuck does it sound like that? I was Is this like, a genetic? Yeah, I was. I don't know. What like, my fuck? my wife doesn't sound like that. She's got like a little bit of a southern drawl, but it's not like. She's not like, hey, y'all. Like, and my I kid did. is straight up like that. I'm like, dude, we're going to have to bring you to speech therapy or something. Like, <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. Who gave her all 13 <laughs> seasons of hee haw? <laughs> yeah. She's really. A little, a little Southern Belle. Yep. Yeah, she's got that that sound, and it kind of fucking I'm concerns so me. I'm so fucking. Glad I, <laughs> that's the most worrying that's thing. That's the most I would <laughs> rather her have, like, that's, like problems. Like, <laughs> it's a. <laughs> Rather be in a wheelchair than <laughs> yeah, talk like that. I would that. rather her be like crippled. No, or that's something. a that's a real thing. My I think I've talked about this before on here, but when my grandpa moved from Kentucky to Indiana, he like broke the southern accent out of my mom and her her sisters because he's like, people will not take you seriously no. if you sound like a little fucking redneck here. Yeah, my grandma never got like she still has like a little southerner voice. They're not people my, when they have that accent. My, my like my older <laughs> aunts kind of still have it. Yeah, they're not like people. Kinda. Yeah, they're like second class but, citizens uh, or something. My mom, my mom completely broke it. But if he hadn't done that, I'd probably be sitting here talking like a little. <laughs> Freak. It, it like sounded a little violent. Violent. You sounded like Creatures you were trying to break a oh, horse. He, yeah, it was it was violent. Yeah, he was a horrible person, but he did one good thing right in that act. But he was a coal miner. He wasn't a little he, person, but he was domestic a, d- domestic abuse uh, bears fruit every now and again. It, every it does yeah. generational. Fruit. So he was a he was legitimately a coal miner. Like he yeah, he was a coal miner when he was like a kid barriers. in like the mountains no. of kentucky oh, that explains it then and then he got like a good job in indiana and moved there with his family so he, but he was, was like a really one of the few normal sized people to escape the mines he, oh he, yeah. was, he said he said he was a kid he was a kid so he was yeah they thought he was a, their size okay yeah. yeah he snuck in basically like elf yeah like that movie yeah. elf with yeah. will ferrell yeah he was except for in a coal mine yeah there's my grandpa <laughs> in there yeah. And he had a ridiculous I think accent. he died of like coal cancer or something. I don't know. <laughs> coal so, cancer? I never met him. Yeah. He used to, apparently, he was just like, um, he was like very loyal to his family, but very just kind of a, a mean dog? guy. Yeah. Mm. He called so he my older brother. Dog. He never called my older brother by his name. He called him Pisshead <laughs> instead, like all the time. Shouldn't know, be my brother's like gamer tag on Xbox and stuff. But yeah, just like not. The, the Grand cool. Torino kind of old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. Probably I mean, he was a good guy, guy in that movie. Brother's teeth. Yeah, but he was Brother's still like teeth. old and pissed off at the world and said a lot of racial slurs. Yeah, yeah. but that movie taught me that just because you use racial slurs all the time doesn't mean you're a bad. Well, he was also a smoker, right? Which means he was going to hell anyway. But yeah, yes. I think he drank super. on Sundays too. Okay, yeah. Oh my Not God. where I'm from. Yeah, you the don't racial do that slurs and everything. That's okay. It was the drinking on Sunday. That's what that's what damned God, him to hell. God is oddly more specific <laughs> about that than racism. Yeah. So And he drank yeah. that beer cold. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. No. He drank a cold. Is that, do I see some condensation on the side of that? <laughs> yeah. It's uh, to hell. To hell with you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, things were different like two thousand twelve in India. Yeah, <laughs> things were crazy. 
<laughs> Things were different in 2016. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I was actually astounded this morning. I got up on Twitter and like PUBG was trending. What? Yeah. Are people oh, yeah. playing that again? <laughs> I was like, it well, it's free like to free play. to play now. So all like the uh-huh. uh, the poor kids are jumping on there. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Realizing oh, it's so if you guys want to go kids. kill some poor kids, we can install that game. <laughs> <laughs> I do like killing poor kids. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the one percenters and poor kids it, now that's on the PUBG. death knell of a game is when they go free to play, man. That's when it just starts the yeah, it has a huge spiral. boom and then it just it goes down. Well, I feel like it I feel like the mobile version of it gets played more even like I don't know. Once you go mobile, that's also not a great sign. Yeah. I mean, that game's me, just for been... them, it was amazing. Apparently, they made a shit ton of money off mobile. Uh, right. I, you tell me, I'm COD sure. Mobile wasn't your favorite game. I, I actually <laughs> like COD Mobile for like really? a week, and I oh, was okay. like distraught. Well, it's because you get like 80 kills a game. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> Are you fighting <laughs> this the best Call of Duty ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm fighting like kids and bots. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I've also noticed that actually. Fallout Shelter. I was starting to think, like, have I even liked a mobile game? I remember playing a lot of Fallout Shelter while I was taking a shit. Abby's like, I spent some money on that. You have been in there like 45 (laughs) minutes. Like, what are you doing? I'm impregnating a whole new series of women. Like, I have a, I had like a breeding room where I would (laughs) knock up all these ladies and make funny names. Yeah, I got on a pretty bad balloons tower defense bender where my feet, every time I took a shit, my feet would go to sleep. (laughs) <laughs> I, I didn't shit without like my legs falling asleep for like a month, dude. But. Abby fucking hated my guts because I'd take a shit and I'd be in there for like yeah, like forty five minutes. And then I would get up and That's lean normal. on the wall because my legs were asleep. <laughs> I would oh, lean yeah. on the wall as I walked, and then I would just collapse face first on the bed. And I'd be like, "Don't touch my legs; they're really tingly." Yeah. Like wait until it tingles. Away. Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes, dude, I get that all the time. Where I just start, I limp really fast yeah. to the nearest yeah, like thing I can the- land. Like, get the fuck away from me! Get the fuck away from me! I would leave the- blow out every like, time. I'd leave the bathroom, take a lift, <laughs> lean on the wall. Plop yeah. on the bed. I feel like I'm trying to make sure everyone have a make it. blood it's like clot. On a landmine. Yeah. <laughs> Do like you want to sh- leave your kids fatherless? <laughs> yeah. Don't touch me. I feel like you're supposed to move around after it goes to sleep. No, though, you, not like no, lay you down. Got, no, no. When the blood's coming back, because like the toilet yeah. seat works like a tourniquet, right? And then yeah. as the blood rushes back, that's when your nerve endings are all like tingly, tingly. And so that that's when I just you just keep them straight. You let the blood come in. You try not to move them because that's when it gets super tickly or whatever it is. Or you like could just actually reattach yeah. the, the tourniquet. Uh, you mm-hmm. just put a real tourniquet yeah. on and then the tingles go away instantly. <laughs> yeah. If I quickly get up and put this belt on both thighs, <laughs> I can and make sure my, never I never get feel feeling in my legs ever again. <laughs> I only take it off when I go to take a shit. <laughs> That's what happened to the grocery store guy, actually. Yeah, yeah the grocery store guy was just a real <laughs> avid shitter. <laughs> I lost my legs to this, but buddy, I never had to endure the tingles. <laughs> Oh, you see that like your your Tinder bios? Oh yeah, gamer, streamer, uh, avid shitter. Yeah, really big into shit. Really good at making my legs get blood back in them after I take a shit. <laughs> really good. Uh, oh man, uh, that's why you got to learn the art yeah. of the speed shit. So are you on? Uh, are you on Tinder? Are you a Tinder guy? No, no, haven't been several years. Oh, are you like in a so relationship? So yeah. you're a hinge yeah. guy. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Relationship, no. <laughs> huh? I see. Never mind. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm, yeah, I've been in a relationship for two years, which means I am also on Bumble. Yeah. <laughs> no. Mm. You getting married anytime soon? Yeah. I don't know. I don't you think, do like I, a, a prenup? Because you, yes, you got big. <laughs> yeah, you got big before you got married. So now you're in prenup territory. Married. I, I got married when I was poor as shit. So. Yeah. There's no the, point in a prenup. Now you can part never. Part. Now I can never divorce. You can't retroactively do one. Yeah. Well, well, I did. So I met my girlfriend before, like I, I had any sort of internet cloud of any, you know, meaningful size. Yeah. So she did kind of see everything kind of from where it started out to where it is now. So that <clears> makes <throat> me feel kind of better. But yeah, because I was just a broke retard, and now I'm a retard, still, but professionally. <laughs> yeah. Professionally. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. You're better for it. Yeah. E clown. Yeah. Yeah. I, I say co- internet court jester is usually my description. It's a good one. It's a good one. I'll have to use that sometime. Do you think it's hard to find... Do you think it's hard for, like, YouTubers to date? 
Yeah, extremely. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen, uh, yeah, I, I have a bunch of different friends that, you know, it, it all comes down to the same shit where it's like that. Not a lot of people, if you're not a content creator, uh, if you are a content, if you're a content creator dating a content creator, that has its own problems. But if you're dating somebody who's not a content creator, they don't fucking get it. They think you vacation for a living. Yeah. Which to a degree we kind of do, but it's it's complicated. It's work that doesn't suck, and that's what they're jealous of or don't <laughs> yeah. understand. They're like, what do you mean you don't hate your job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean like, you don't have a boss? So you don't have to work? Well, no, I mean, I still do there. stuff, but... Even though it's like a great job too, it's still, you know, if someone at the bar is like, so what do you do for work? I'm like, yep. oh, like I used to be a software engineer. Oh, they're like, what do you do now? Like, what's your job right now? I'm like, oh, what like, pays I'm not going to tell you the name. Yeah, it's like, we, yeah. oh, podcaster, streamer. Oh. Yeah, and the natural oh, question okay, is like, honey. what does oh, the, the, what, no, what's the and then podcast? You tell, them, you tell them you're a podcaster. Yeah, they're like, oh, I love like true crime podcasts. I'm like, oh, it's like, kind of like that like we talk about crimes we've committed but you know, <laughs> it's, it's like the yeah. opposite side yeah. of that it just yeah, sounds fake, like fake crime podcast have you but... seen 40 year old virgin yeah there's it's just a a modern day remake of that scene where he first meets the girl and he's like oh yeah i i i can't pick you up i have a bike and she's like oh i had a boyfriend in college that had a motorcycle i love hopping on the back of a motorcycle he's like no i i ride a bike like a, a bike sickle <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah. totally, like, it's just, yeah, like, oh, I do yeah. podcasts. Oh, I love podcasts. No, this well, is like just... cum joke podcasts. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's the type it's, of it's podcast. The yeah, yeah, this is the only one I listen to, though. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's... And it's like talk about crime. Yeah. Just talk oh, about man. Just say it's something that they'll never check up on. Be like, yeah, we analyze, like, C-SPAN or something. <laughs> we do reviews of, then like, NPR. Then they'll start trying to talk yeah, to you about crypto. I yeah, don't want to like start oh, something with yeah. a just a huge lie. Also, it's why like not? The that's guilt half the versus the half the fun is them uncovering <laughs> my web of lies over time. Yeah. <laughs> it's called being sophisticated and mysterious. Yep, hmm. mysterious. I'm not a liar. I'm mysterious. <laughs> why would you think that? <laughs> you thought I'm a liar? You're crazy. Oh, crazy so now you're bitch. gaslighting them. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm a gaslighter. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. And you it's should be in a lie. hospital. I, I straight up, like, I had some old people over for my new neighbors. I had them over for dinner, and I just told them to, like, stop. <laughs> they were asking way too many questions. And I was like, uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I do because it's anonymous, but I make videos for YouTube. <laughs> and they were like, oh, okay. They think it's, like, snuff porn, and you just say YouTube the, as a cover I up, guess dude. The more mm -hmm. mysterious the you are, the more people want to know, too. Which is I know. Like, that's the allure. That's when you're mysterious. Uh, dude, I, I fucked it up, like. I should have just told my family what it was at first. They would have watched one episode and been like, okay, not for oh, me. Oh, before you went down the N rabbit hole of insanity? Now, <laughs> now I'm like, yeah, now I do too many bits and stuff. And I'll never, I'm like, I'll never tell you what it is. And now all my siblings, my parents, they're like, we got to find it. Like, we, yeah. we got to know what it is. And now I've and made sure that the, really? I, 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 I packed this seven second video with all this metadata that when you type oh. in Papa Poob and Google, it pops up with a video of him going, I need to try shoving more things up my asshole. Yeah, you were <laughs> so putting like, a lot yeah. of things out there. Yeah. I killed my dog and threw it down the stairs. I'm like, oh, yeah. it's a joke. It's a joke. My family never knew. Yeah. 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 And so when your mm. mom goes to Google it, she, that's the first thing she'll find. <laughs> well, he's paying the bills with it. She, oh my God, dude. I got close once being caught because, like, one cousin on both sides of my family. No, like two different cousins they know because they are like game one of them was just a general sam fan and was like dude is this your That's voice in a video and it was really weird i'm like oh fuck like yeah 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 and i, I told him no. i was <laughs> like yeah like you can't tell my mom about this though and stuff and she like <laughs> asked him at a family reunion like so like what's this stuff and he's like oh my god i love like poob stuff like i love sam too like general sam my mom's like, oh, I got it. Like, I finally got it. And he's like, oh, my God. Like, you can never tell him I told you this. Like, I'm so sorry. And she just fucking misunderstood him. And she came. She was like, is your name Poopy? 
And I was like, <laughs> no, like, that's not even close. Mom, like, you're fucking crazy. What are you goddamn crazy? You gaslight crazy her? Bitch. Like, who oh, yeah, yeah, I got to ga- gaslight anyone I have to to keep my identity secret. <laughs> what are you talking about? And Poopy, she didn't even know how to, like, if she, if she Googled that, she'd pro- if she That's the worst part is that your name is Sam. Mm-hmm. And old people that don't get the internet, they're probably just going to look up my name is like also Sam. Sam. Yeah. I could so see them looking up just like Sam podcast. And then it's like, oh, there's his face on the fucking <laughs> thumbnail yeah. that pops up when you show up. Oh, uh, I wish you had a different name. Yeah, sorry. That'd I'll, be awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll work yeah. that into the schedule. Yeah, I'll change yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, change yeah. his name so you can continue to <laughs> gaslight your family. Yes, yeah. yeah. That was a, it's a real personal problem, but. With a huge solution, <laughs> yeah, a life-altering solution. Yeah, I was at. I don't a, know. It's gonna happen. It's got. It's just gotten to that point. It's gonna happen at some point. It's gonna be really awkward. It's not that awkward if you just like. It's not gonna be awkward. Put I know. Down the put down your foot on like just don't well, get just into like, my shit. You don't. Understand. Yeah, no, I've tried. That doesn't work. I'm of also. They're gonna do you're, it you're, your it's like, you're too I'm nice. The, you're too docile. I'm the white sheep of the family, though. I've got a uh. reputation that does not line up with this podcast well in that oh. case just tell him it's porn yeah yeah no do well porn. he doesn't want to shed his give him a, that's yeah, the problem give him a heart attack he doesn't want to shed his white sheep persona he wants to uh, be viewed as the good boy i don't no not really i was offended when she told me she's like you're the white sheep of the family i'm like what the fuck bitch I, i've <laughs> done bad boy shit yeah yeah before. Uh, i couldn't come up with any examples off the top of the head but <laughs> I've said a lot of crazy stuff on a podcast, Mom. Like, come I've on. been around yeah. people who smoked pots. Yeah, yeah. I no, but, Mom. I am responsible for our community <laughs> strike because I made several death threats against Nectar. <laughs> yeah, did we actually get that? Was that a community yes, strike? It was a, stop oh, it! No, oh, no, shit. <laughs> I thought that was a joke. Yeah, no, it's he not. He threatened a joke. to kill somebody, and then it got strike. He threatened to kill. What? He keeps threatening know, to I kill mean, people. Yeah, what? I just There's think it's no, funny to say. amount of people, yeah. <laughs> I think Which it's funny to say because it's like I'm so obviously not going to kill Haley you. I think it was Haley Joel Osment, the Sixth Sense kid. I oh. think that was the oh, one. Oh, was oh, fair. God. He didn't come on the podcast. So. <laughs> yeah, we asked him to come on. He ignored us. So, you know, we threatened to kill him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Checks out. Yeah. Where's the line? We can talk about killing the E.T., but we can't talk about killing a e. little freak kid. E.T. doesn't have a lawyer. <laughs> That's why. He's got no fucking oh. money. He's a bum and a bicycle. It was actually on that podcast. E.T. Joel. Yeah. What? Oh man! I yeah, thought it was the dream a, one. I gotta pipe down. On oh, this it was the dream one. I'm sorry. It we made fun of dream, yeah. that dream lookalike. Yeah, right? we made fun of the dream look. Yeah. The fat oh, kid so that wasn't people even thought for was a dream. death threat. No, no, it, you no, threatened you to kill the kid. He should die. Yeah. Yeah, me, that's think, all it takes. Oh, yeah. you guys are just passing the buck to me. It's literally in the thing. You like make fun yeah. of the kid for being fat, and then you threaten to kill him. You. No, you guys I were going way more in on the okay, fat so the problem part. Is, we're allowed to. We are fat. <laughs> yeah. You're not, guys, you're you're not one of us. The N-word. You're not it's one like, of us. You can't say yeah. it. Yeah. We can make fun of people for being fat because we're fat. You're a normal person. I think I just like I just it's chimed in. Word. I chimed in on your bit. No, that that's what <laughs> they don't get is that because it wasn't. You never do like it, a legit like it. you want to kill someone. It, you're always speaking from the perspective of someone, but they don't yeah. get that well, context. And they don't yeah. get that. That is a very thinly veiled way of just wishing death on someone is by saying like, "No, it's I was meta. acting like a character. Like it was. It's meta. Yeah, that was it's a joke. It's a satire podcast. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't get it. Like at the beginning, we we're. It was like I was Willy Wonka, and I was <laughs> wishing all the all the Oompa Loompas would die. Like, yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> worried about my Twitch and Twitter. <laughs> Man, if death chocolate. threats aren't cool, because yeah. <laughs> we're making a lot <laughs> of them threat, lately. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, but they're. They're jokies. I say I always say like in a game or something afterwards. Kind of in my yeah, tracks. In, in Minecraft is, is yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that clears you of any federal crimes. Yeah. In my dreams. <laughs> yeah. That is far worse. <laughs> in my best case scenario world, not this world. <laughs> in, in a perfect in the, world. In yeah. the multiverse. There is a, a perfect universe world. in which this person has died. I'd be but. And I just, I just feel like, oh god! <laughs> don't cut, don't cut that. Okay, let's not <laughs> risk it. I don't want to risk it. Okay, I, yeah. I don't even mean it. Just do it in a perfect world. I'd be <laughs> like, wink. I don't even mean <laughs> yeah. it. I don't. <laughs> you can't like, see, no, just, but just I have cut my the fingers audio crossed. 
censor it with just like possible death threat cutting just in case. Yeah. He never yeah. he never does the things that we tell him to do. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed there's a lot of editor's notes not. that we fucking we put in there. Like, hey, maybe you can do like a little transition here or something. Mm. Yeah, pl- play that he perked, clip. Up for a, he perked up for a second and he's like, oh, you mean oh, nah, like a I'm not doing that. video thing. Never yeah. mind. Okay. <laughs> I do like a snide little comment and that, put Brian. the text up there on the screen. I Good saw too. like I, I like the way PewDiePie's <laughs> editor does it sometimes. Where he'll be like, uh, you know, editor, if you could do X, Y, and Z like animation, he'll just like respond with like text on the bottom. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, we it's get a look, lot of that where we that. ask these outrageous <laughs> things of Stalt, and then he just looks at it and They're goes, "Not that outrageous." No, it's, some of them are a little outrageous, but some of them are understandable. Well, we asked him to recreate that rat. Avatar scene, yeah. with the flying dragons and stuff, and he wasn't. He was like, "I'm not doing that." Yeah, or like make make me claymation for a couple frames, yeah. and he's like, "No, I don't get paid for that." Shit. <laughs> just do like a quick like claymation podcast, oh, like just like a stop motion movie. Yeah. Poop. Do you know that there's a cartoon that's basically ripped off your movie premise? What? It's like a not a cartoon, like a TV show. It's Nickelodeon has this show where it's like this real life family, and they're all real, and they don't acknowledge it. But like, there's just a character who's just full on like a comic book character cartoon what? guy what yeah, show is it is it oh, new or is, did, oh, this oh, is in my it, this also is in my play. idea this is my this is like my best friend's dream movie <laughs> it's not as awesome as the dream movie because it's just like a it's, he's like a little cartoon guy oh my god is it gumby is it that fucker yeah. gumby i'm gonna beat oh. him to death with a hammer <laughs> yeah, and here we are three minutes against a clay person right <laughs> You're talking yeah, about that would be malleable. Gumby. They'd, yeah. yeah. Are you really like falling back on, well, it depends on your definition of a person? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. If you consider so. Gumby a person, all right, you're, <laughs> you've got some problems. I, I would I would tear him in half, Gumby. Yeah. Rip him piece by piece. Twist his head backwards like a yeah. saw contraption. Yeah. Twist his arms while they're snapping and everything. And roll him oh, into a little cylinder and smoke him. <laughs> You see, this is not a problem because the people we are killing are not people. Yeah, he's, they're claymation. He's clay. <laughs> it's totally different. Like, I could that kill be... Wallace and Gromit. Like, they're just... <laughs> they're humanoid, at least, a little bit. That's a little bit more concerning. Yeah, that's, yeah it might be a little worse. Yeah, but a green person? Yeah. Like Gumby? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Know. Like a jolly green giant. Yeah. Oh, by the no, way, again, jolly person. green giant's a person. Yeah, you gotta be careful. He's <laughs> it's just a, really it's a big. real person. Yeah, he's just really oh, okay. big. All right. Where's this fucking cartoon, Brian? I'm trying to find. I'm. I swear to God, I'll find this. Yeah, while you're oh while you're God. looking for that. Uh, by the way, one of the people that everybody wants as a guest, uh, Psychic Pebbles. He's probably no longer going to be attainable. He has his own. Oh yeah. He's got his own TV show on Adult Swim or something now. Yeah. So. Smiling friends. Yeah, smiling friends. Went from pipe Congrats. dream to impossible. Impossible, yep. It's one of those things where, like, at the <sighs> beginning of Hot Ones, I was like, dude, like, because they were just getting just YouTubers on there on Hot Ones. And I was like, maybe one day yeah. I'll be big enough to be on Hot Ones. And now they have, like, Obama on there. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, these wings are spicy. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow, great impression. <laughs> I don't know how Wow, these that. wings like, are spicy. <laughs> yeah. mm, spicy, like the conflict in Iraq. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck uh, you would say. Spicy. No, yeah, they... Hot Ones is actually now like it's huge, yeah. It's, it's, it's it, they're not going to have Idris Elba on, and then me the next episode. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I swear like, the oh, next ju- Ryan Reynolds. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm no longer in the running. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the next jump is that's just going to be on Netflix or something. It's going to be like a net, mm. like they already did their game uh, show. Norm- Did you see that? McDonald's. They have a game oh, show. Yeah. They have a game show. Yeah, they tried a really bad Hot Ones game show that's like completely defeats the purpose of like the the reason why Hot Ones works. You know, like that interview format and everything. They did it as like a like an old like Family Feud style game show. Oh, huh. and it was Never. terrible. Hmm. They jumped same, the shark. Same, uh, oh. same dude, uh, like Sean Evans. I think does it. Evans, yeah. I said Sean Evans, or I completed the name. I said Evans, and you said Sean, and I was like. I'm 99% sure that's a porn star. And now people are going to be like, dude, this guy is fucking... Sean Evans? <laughs> yeah. I, think guy I thought is like... you said Sean and I said Evans. Like, now you're, you're confusing no. me. And I was like, oh, fuck. 
like, we both said Evans at the same time. And when you said oh. Evans, I was like, weight's been lifted off my chest. He's only like, you know, like a fucking loser remembers the male porn star name. Like, oh, no. right? I need to remember that cock. Hold on. <laughs> Sean Evans. Yeah, you guys yeah. have, yeah, pretty big discography of remembered porn names. I feel like even like, I don't know. Like you remember a lot of like female porn stars, which is they're like you, Pokemon to me. Yeah, I yeah. know. <laughs> I, I, know. Like, yeah. I was waiting for you to say something because I'm like not crazy about it's that. Brian's but... the addict, not me. Yeah. Brian's what do you mean? Sure, I'm normal. Jack I'm, all. I'm normal, and you're just like a <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. Amish person. Uh, I'm not like an Amish person. I just don't have like you Google like boob. favorites. And no, I don't Google boob. I Google just butt. Google like All right, porn. You're a butt guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Google yeah. Com, porn. Yeah. Oh, like just porn. one single, com. single nipple. Human intercourse. On the just Google, checking, yeah. like love, love making. It's <laughs> <Love. laughs> <laughs> search history. How to make baby video. Yeah. Good, good, good yeah. story. Good story. Well driven plot. Gets me off. <laughs> like just like, kind of like foreign art films. I, yeah. <laughs> Not to interrupt Condom or anything, but the longer down. this goes on, you get more relaxed and you've lost a lot of neck. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Just thinking. laughs> you now look like that guy in Publix that was with his hot wife, the crippled guy. <laughs> just like, oh, in his fucking mobile, mobile scooter yeah. made of fucking rifles. Get a steering oh, wheel you, on that you, thing. Don't you want a fucker? Yeah. Don't you want a fucker? Tell me about you want a fucker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, honey, this guy's... Scary. Ryan, you're not, you still haven't found this fucking. I'm, I feel like you could I'm just trying Google so Google exactly what you said, and there'd yeah. only be <laughs> one show in the world that would fit that criteria. It's, it was a trash show that did, probably didn't just go anywhere. It, dude. So Brian, that's Brian you're, you, you have you it. have an arc that you need to continue, okay? Because what? you had you had the arc of Brian not speaking during episodes. And then okay. people criticized you because we had Project Melody on. And the first lady we've had on here, all of a sudden, Brian comes out chatty. Second. He's just sitting. That's a coincidence. He's talking. That's a coincidence. And everybody's like, oh, Brian's simping hard for the lady. Now, if all of a sudden Brandon comes on and you're radio silent again, that theory is going to be correct. He's been talking. I'm what talking. are you talking about? He's been about? talking, but all of a sudden he ain't been talking because he's been looking up a cartoon. I'm looking up the fucking, I'm looking up show <laughs> with kid that is cartoon and it's. With real people, and it just shows me like fucking, I don't know. Like every other cartoon in the yeah, world. Drawn together like this. Show, yeah, son of show for it's none kids. Of these. <laughs> uh, <laughs> show for kids. Show for cartoon. Cartoon for I don't know. children. <laughs> it's so hard to look up. How do you look that up without fucking Mixed writing a Mixed media paragraph? cartoon. Mixed? Okay, Mixed. that's a I'm good idea. Or just media. wait for the viewers. Cartoon. Some viewer probably saw it as a kid. The viewers know nothing. We've gone over this, dude. <laughs> I think they're the best angels in the world. Is it Nickelodeon? They're Don't, awesome. No, they suck. <laughs> good, good cop, bad cop. No, they're sweethearts. <laughs> oh, such sweethearts. While you're on your search, I do have something to talk about. That was yeah, very pressing matter about 24 hours ago. Uh, when we were, Dude, I should have brought this undies. up when we were talking about DoorDash. But there's this like competing company around here called Bite Squad, and it's like an off-brand DoorDash, and. Uh, I have an account there because they have certain local restaurants that uh, DoorDash doesn't have. Is this doxing? Is it only there? <clears throat> no, it's in like weird cities like Tallahassee and then like Cincinnati. Like it's, it's, oh, okay. it's in like weird and fuck cities. Me. They might have been in Indy or something. Like, go on. They put those cities with the highest dissatisfaction yeah. with DoorDash. They were like, <laughs> where is DoorDash not? Because <laughs> that's where we're going. And, uh, <laughs> Very micro niche <laughs> towns and stuff. Okay. Yeah, but the their stupid app got hacked or something like that, and all of a sudden, I just had like ten orders from the steakhouse going to. There was a steakhouse in Kentucky going to a town in Kentucky. Uh, they were getting delivered to a house, and like someone had hacked into my account, stolen I guess my credit card information to buy a bunch of food, <laughs> and they ordered just like porterhouse steaks like six <laughs> they had like every bite squad driver in town lining up at this one steakhouse to, to deliver food and i like they didn't open a restaurant i, call, I don't know i called uh capital one <laughs> and i was like dude like you need to put a freeze on my card because someone just ordered like hundreds of dollars worth of shit and like out of curiosity i was looking at the app and i was like oh i can see where it's delivered to i don't know oh, if this oh will pop God. up on their obs that's where it was being delivered to. <laughs> oh my god! And immediately, as soon as I like 
<laughs> it's just like this ramshackle trailer that let them have their steaks. I was first. about to say, like, if they didn't yeah. order like six hundred dollars in steaks and mashed potatoes, I wouldn't like. If they had just ordered two meals, you know, I would have been like, "All right." <laughs> I am. I, I should have been the giant red flag when these DoorDash drivers essentially yeah. are dropping off expensive ass steaks at this fucking trailer. Like, mm, and I should probably phone this in. Yeah. Well, one of them was like, hey, man, your food's on, on the way. I'm coming. And I just, like, texted him back. I was like, that food's stolen. Like, take it home and enjoy it. <laughs> Damn, oh. the, the guy just got, like, a shit ton of steak. That'd be kind That's of rad. No, not a shit ton because they didn't do it all in one order. They did six guys. orders. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's even more obnoxious because that cost more money. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, try, they went out of their way to not. They could have just ordered, like, one big order for, like, 12 people. What the fuck are they going to do with that many steaks anyways? Eat them, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> but that you'd have to really start chowing down on some steak if you're gonna eat. Like, I'm really sure good. that trailer has a refrigerator in it. Yeah, no. but they would never <laughs> shit again if they ate nothing but steak for a whole week. Are you kidding me? It's possible. It can be done. <laughs> and, that was, and I mean, well, I'm not even. They've already destroyed their insides on like a consistent diet of fucking ramen and Mountain Dew. Or by like, the look at that trailer. I was about to say, and like asbestos tiles and shit inside like those people are fucking gone for anyway it's their final meal because of all the mesothelioma <laughs> yeah the last supper six hundred dollars in steak <laughs> this is my last supper i'll do my one crime i've done in my lifetime <laughs> yeah. and then i was deny it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they don't even get the food because i tell the fucking drivers to go home with it <laughs> oh, no <laughs> he's ruined this guy's life it's good moldy, moldy cheese <laughs> Yeah, uh, we. I don't know if you guys have realized, but like the steaks and stuff, like the price has gone up so much, and I can't I cook a not. steak good enough to warrant buying one now. Like the price has surpassed my <laughs> skill level on cooking uh. to the point where it's like it's just not worth the money to fucking disappoint that dead cow like by fucking it up that bad. <laughs> I can't, I shouldn't be. That's the one thing that'll piss off Abby because she's the one that cooks it. And like, if she watched this, like everything else, she wouldn't be offended by. But she, if if she hears me critiquing her cooking, she'll be like, "What the fuck was this bullshit?" It's not even you cooking the steaks that you're saying aren't made it's well. Not, it's, her. it's not worth. It's not yeah. worth it. It's not worth it's the not money. Worth what Abby does to him. It's not worth thirty five dollars uh. for her to come home and do whatever torture she does. <laughs> Before my torture begins, when I Salt eat it, and pepper and then well done <laughs> yeah. cook. the taxidermied fucking <laughs> a cow head on the wall has just got the single Indian the tear one, watching one what's happening to that steak. You've done to that steak. Uh, yeah, I, I use the fucking ninja grill. Honestly, that shit's like cheating. But the one with the little thermometer, so you get like perfect steak. Mm. Oh, I've never seen that. Oh yeah, like I just put I just put in the um plug it in the little asshole of the of the steak. Throw it in, set it you to know, like the asshole marinade. of the steak. Oh, that's exactly when to take sick. it out. It takes you. It tells you when to take it out and everything. I just and is it'll it like in an oven? It. What's that? In an, an, it's like a little. It's like this little fucking thing, like maybe this big. It's a toaster and oven. Then, like, you put your steak in a toaster oven. You know, an air fryer, a baker. You can air thing, fry a, a steak. Is that a yeah, thing? Yeah, and it comes with a little grill top that you can. No, it's a fucking no. It has multiple functions: some air fry, some grill, and some bake. And there's a grill setting. And a thermometer to go with it. Badass. See, the, the people yeah. who own air fryers are now in the same league as like vegans and CrossFitters. It's like they'll. they'll oh, don't even tell bring you. up that shit. The one th I brought up your name <clears throat> one time in chat, and I just went like, "Oh, like that Brandon Herrera guy." I've been trying to get in touch with him. They're like, "Oh, White Claws, yeah, White Claws. White we love claw. White Claws." It's Apparently, so fucking weird. You have like a White Claw fetish, which is in the same league as people with air fryers and people with. I go through you say? phases. What was the other one? I, I don't really drink White Claw that often. I do like in the summer because it's just fucking refreshing and delicious. But uh, we just shoot them in videos is what it is. So I it just that, became a running joke. Mm. Like phases. Like I went through a big White Claw phase mm. last yeah. year. I'm like, it's just easy. It's just easy to drink them. And then mm. I went through a rum and coke phase. And now I'm on my I'm in IPA phase. And <laughs> Because so we, like you'll drink it nothing but that for like three months and then one day it just starts tasting bad and yeah you don't, can't really explain it or you just drink way too much of it one night and the next morning you're like i should try something impossible new. yeah impossible 
I are do you that sponsored with food. by White Claw? Sometime. No, they probably want nothing to fucking do with me. Uh. Uh, the you know, oh, major makes... like white girl wasted brand like mm. oh yeah let's uh, do uh, super fucking I don't know libertarian dude who has a bunch of fucking guns that'd be a uh, <laughs> sick sponsorship though <laughs> just unlimited yeah. claws dude I I would fucking I would forego payment for that hundred <laughs> percent. Why do you oh. think I'm doing the cereal one for so cheap? <laughs> is it actually just fucking cereal? Like, do they, like, is it their own types of cereal or do you get like cinnamon toast crunch and stuff? Like, they have their version of cinnamon toast crunch. You are. I thought, wait, you're, it's a cereal company? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was a spoon company. No, no, no. Spoon's in the title. I was like, I thought, it, oh. No. Well, that I don't would know what's be worse. Even I better. A I spoon like, manufacturer? I, I would take that sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! You, you said you said magic spoon. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like a crazy. It was like the spatula from SpongeBob. That would be insane. Has like three other I ones would that get that. Flies. They wouldn't have to pay me. That yeah. would be free. I, yeah, free. I, would, I, th I thought you get like brought a to you by the spoon. spoon. It's the last Not one you'll need. Not a lot need. of repeat customers on uh, spoon <laughs> industry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buy one for life. Spoon. We yeah, had we had our awesome. specialists look at your channel, and the, we think the crossover is going to be incredible. <laughs> the amount of people that watch your videos. And the amount of people that use spoons, it's almost identical. <laughs> As it turns out, the majority fucking... of your audience eats <laughs> breakfast. Yeah, they all... Your audience is fat as shit. And they want <laughs> spoons <laughs> for their grub. <laughs> they want That's, that spoons. might be true, too. Huh? We, we, we take, take your one audience, spoon. We think your audience uh, has really good crossover with uh, Magic Trough, uh, this company <laughs> that we're trying to work. Pink Trough. <laughs> <laughs> It's like oh, a pink shit. trough that's on They're like right. a harmonica harness, so you can, it's just right here <laughs> at all times. Oh no! <laughs> oh oh God. fuck this me! Is, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong. What was, that? Wait, what was that word? What was that? that what word was that that just flew by the screen? Oh, there <laughs> we go. Background. Jesus Christ! I couldn't. Find, I've got like 30 yeah. scenes, and they're all labeled like nonsense words. So it's yeah. like, hard to find. Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I'm on podcast two of three right now. <laughs> What's one and three? Just one. This is right. three. I, I <laughs> never use them again. I don't know why I don't just fucking change. I don't the think scene you've though. ever used the beach one uh, ever. Yeah, and maybe I've a, never I seen maybe that. a year ago. Well, that's po that's podcast three. We're on two yeah, right now. Yeah, so that's we'll for the, the future. Podcast. Yeah, oh, yeah future. that beach one. <laughs> yeah, because you know I plan ahead for these podcasts pretty hard, so. Well, we, we did oh, a lot man. of uh, planning. We actually had an hour extra of planning time today. You're welcome. Yeah. We use it so well. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. You didn't even have your shit set up <laughs> by the time you got in here. Yeah, there's no, <laughs> there's no the, writing I, or planning. I think, I think at most we just like we're fucking with filters like this one. Yeah. Because we're fucking with filters. Because like, we're well. like, this guy likes guns yeah. and stuff, right? So we're yeah, like, so we'll we should all just make him this. feel at home by having all these guns pointed yeah. at his face. <laughs> one of my favorite things yeah. to do is and everyone just pointed at me finger the triggers oh. i've noticed that like gun gun guys like if you ever post a picture of like any sort of person holding a gun and their finger is anywhere near the trigger they're like trigger discipline he ain't got it i see yeah. it there's no trigger discipline they go nuts. They, like that is that is a huge thing like you know having your finger off the trigger till you're ready to shoot like that's a big safety i'm just gonna rule, have that some thing crank guys... down 24 7 just that's the bit, because some of these guys, like, it's such a personal fucking mission to correct everyone yeah. on the fucking internet if they see something like that. Uh, so, like, one of the big photos of Mikhail Kalashnikov, the guy who invented the AK, ha is, like, holding the AK. He's, like, fucking 80 years old at this point, and his finger is, like, all the way down on the trigger. <laughs> and yeah. so, like, I, I fucking replicate that all the time, just, like, yeah, in, in the photos, really, and it drives like, people uh, fucking crazy. Too, like, like the, the spring's pulled back just a little bit. It's ready to go. <laughs> Even maybe throw two fingers in there, yeah. three. It's the manual hair trigger. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, do you want to do you want to end it here, Poob, or do you want to bring up uh, the stream that we went through a couple days ago? Talk about Targov. I would be fine ending it now. I, I've got that meeting at five. Yeah. I mean, that's I need like a couple hours of prep. I guess I have one that hour break. of prep. It's a really big meeting. It could change my life. So, okay, get me on a bigger podcast. Give me. Are you talking about the streamer that raided me? What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna go. Oh yeah. Do you know of Aimbot? PS? Oh, uh, yeah, Lucas. Oh, yeah, Lucas. That's yeah. good to get a name. <laughs> yeah, Lucas uh, Botkin. What 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 happened? I, I'm sorry if we were ending it here, but now I'm curious. I don't. I don't really want to. It's hard to talk about still. But uh, that dramatic. The other, the other day, fresh. you raided me on Twitch, 
and he called me a nerd, and he called me a jump. <laughs> oh. And yeah, and That's... I just I just saw he was in the gun community and stuff, and I was just curious, you know. If... That's Lucas. Did he, uh, I rated him at one point when he was like brand new to Twitch. And I just happened to be playing Tarkov, so I rated him. I'm like, oh yeah, no, Lucas. Like I met him a couple times. Did cool you guy. call him any mean words when you rated him, or were <laughs> no. you like, hey, why don't you go give this guy some He's follows? Shit, dirt ball no, all my guys started flooding <clears throat> his chat, and he goes, oh, oh, Bre Brandon Herrera. Yeah, what a what a weird guy. And then goes back to playing his fucking game. I'm like, ow, that's, <laughs> Jesus that fucking hurt. Christ. I thought we were yeah, cool. Well, poobs. We should band. shoot him. Damn, we should shit. Why don't we take that fancy little AK and make it? I don't want to sound extreme off. here. I have to see this dude in like five days. Uh, oh, and Poop I'll took it as a personal slight that this man <laughs> rated yeah. him for some no, reason. I, I was, uh, he rated me and like in the VOD, people were like, go look at this VOD. Like, guy's kind of being like a dick or something. I went and he's like, Look at this nerd. Play I was playing Total War Warhammer. Which and then he is, rated you. Got you. That's not a bad thing. Like he's Sam, like, just because uh, someone raid you are so just because someone raids you, it's not inherently. Have you ever heard of a hate raid? I hate it was me. definitely. It was, I, I think this guy raided me because that day Sam and I played Tarkov together and said some just miscellaneous stuff. We ripped and on Kyle Rittenhouse for like I, you know, an we, hour. I pulled that stream up uh, while yeah, we, we were talking we, about it. Yeah, I we, pulled the stream up and had it in the background playing audio. And then I'm like, I'm just going to kill this real quick because <laughs> this is not going to go over well with my audience. Yeah. Oh and my uh, God. then he raided me. He was like, go, go call this guy a loser. Like, look at this jump. <laughs> and it's all like very minuscule stuff. But in my discord afterwards, I'm like. I'm going to try to blow this show out of proportion. Like, I'd love a rival. <laughs> like, this guy had, like, yeah. the same amount of followers as me. <laughs> like, what if I just had, like, a nemesis? Like, that could be so cool. And you guys would be polar opposites, too. So yeah, I know. Works. So it does. It's so he plays, like, Call of Duty and stuff. I was playing Total War Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't know. I just really wanted to blow it off. And I told Sam that. And Sam is, like, somehow doesn't get the joke. And it's like, it's not even bad. Like, you didn't even say anything mean. Why are you freaking out? That's like, Sam that's the joke. Yeah, that's well, yeah. spot on. Right, we've been working on it for a while, yeah. but like that, that is the joke is that it was like nothing really. But now I'm no, gonna because like, then it gives you it gives you the forever. opportunity to double down on the fact that being so well, insulted I really, by I, nerd. I, I, I would hope my employer would you know want to defend me too, but <laughs> this is like I said, a oh, hostile no. work environment. Yeah, Sam's super probably hostile. gonna fucking. I'm going to do a collab with this Lucas guy. Yeah, you're tomorrow. probably going to probably going to hit him up soon and or something. I'm going to Even though he's like my mortal enemy now. He's going to just going to take the episode, other side of the rivalry. I'm Yeah. Me and he him would, we're going to post would, a selfie. Absolutely. <laughs> we're going to yeah. post a selfie at the next Kyle Rittenhouse uh at a at a gun range at a and gun I'm going to be on the at target. A promotional speaking <laughs> event with Kyle. Me and I'm him. I'm on the target. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like 30 bullets my... oh my god you're the one being yeah. taken hostage and they've ignored the hostage taker and just shot at you i think it'd be funny yeah, if i just challenged him to like a gun range shoot off <laughs> i mean i and then I you watched... kill him yeah <laughs> and then i shoot him no, I, wait until I, the I mag's saw, empty <laughs> i saw his youtube because uh, his chat was like i picked up pretty quick too i'm like his chat was super kind of they, they were like the most unified chat I'd ever seen after a raid. Cause I've been raided by people with like way more viewers before, but never has the chat been so like into the person that raided them. Like I raid someone, everyone's like, boobs, a fucking dumbass. Like this guy sucks. <laughs> like, sorry, he raided you, blah, blah, blah. This guy, yeah. everyone was like, like, go check out T-Rex arms, like on YouTube now, check out T-Rex arms, pull up his YouTube now. And they're like, it's so beak of you. Like they kept using this term, like, instead of like cool like beak or something I, like I you guys are term I'm like you guys are very culty but like how do i get that like how do yeah. i get my audience to be more like <laughs> a, a cult? cult like maybe i gotta be more charismatic like i don't know what it is but like get i'd love awkward. it probably less if they death just, threats, yeah, I think. if they just <laughs> blindly <laughs> followed me oh my god that'd be so sweet and if they just did anything i said like oh my god that's what i'm what i'm trying to get to so i do have a respect for them in that regard but you know, it's that's about as far as my respect goes. <clears throat> yeah, he's a really good he shooter. Said. He's a really good shooter, but it, like, yeah, yeah, well, he hasn't seen me. That okay. <laughs> I played he's Tarkov. Got a, he's got the fucking for a Game long time. Yeah, gun. Yeah, thing does he have one of these? Huh? I know shit. I'm working on one. Oh shit! Does it well, look don't as let good him as, sit as, on it. Hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I will never. No, he, he's not allowed. He's barred from it. Okay. Good. No, they're gonna be dildo activated guns. 
It's like okay, the, that South Park on it. Like that South Park episode where it was like the new mode of transportation. Yeah. All it has to do is like suck on it and it fucking sticks something <laughs> yeah. in your ass and it starts moving. Or the, the oh like God, shake weight that. one where you yeah. shake on it and it <laughs> sprays you in the face and here's and cab shoots fare. Cab fare. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. I love that old infomercial yeah. clip of the lady like the model showing how a shake weight works and like she just does this face at the camera like. I know what this looks like. Yeah, like yeah. It's for the original yeah, advertisement. Away. She's just like, I know. This is <laughs> yeah, the, you don't you don't even have to do it right in your face. Like, you can do it you anywhere. Do it any but, direction, just, but everybody yeah. chooses to fucking crank it right in their own face every and, and, time. And, and then that was the take it. they took that was the take they used. Yeah, the marketing no, company knew what they were doing. Yeah, yeah, they knew exactly what they were doing. Eh, could be worse. <laughs> yeah, it could uh, be a gun that you have to fucking suck off. <sighs> That's, well, a, that's a genius s- idea. Send Lucas my regards when you see him in a couple days. Is he, is he one of those Texas guys? No, or he's the... up in Tennessee, I think. I was going to say send Lucas yeah, one of those yeah. dildo guns. <laughs> yeah, send him one of my dildo prototype <laughs> guns. Yeah. Tennessee. Is, uh, uh, Poob not... sends his regards. Mm. That's not far from Indiana. Might have to go pay this gentleman a visit. No, it's You're going to have like a minor yeah. celebrity you know boxing what, match. I do, in fact. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. give you his fucking address. My, I don't care. Minor celebrity <laughs> shoot off, and this guy just wipes me under the table. I, <laughs> I saw his YouTube. He's like fucking nailing stuff. But Two niche internet micro celebrities uh, uh, face yeah. off. Yeah, how great because would that one be? One guy called a guy a chump. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they have like the internet boxing things, right? Yeah. It, where, and that's like those are like pay per view things. How great would it be to do that like on the small scale where you just make an obviously ramshackle like ring in someone's backyard? They have backyard it's boxing, like, yeah. rough and rowdy. Yeah, really. It's, I awesome. Mean, could you, it's awesome. Like a to live watch. stream the rules though, with like an announcer and everything. Yeah, yeah. no, they yeah, have they those. That. I did not know that. That sounds insane. I want to be have a part all of it. sorts of arenas mm-hmm. around mm-hmm. America. I want to have a an internet rivalry with somebody else in the gun industry who uh, I'm pretty sure like is slightly smaller than me that I could take if I trained hard, and uh, I want to beat the shit out of them on a live stream. Yeah, how, like, how big cool. is this guy? Uh, do you how know big Reno is this guy? He's very thin. I think you, okay. you could take him. How tall? I assume. Uh, probably like I don't know, maybe five eleven. Okay. Yeah, maybe I like, like six my. Foot, uh, Oh shit! Okay, he hit, he hit the number. <laughs> Six foot. My bad. I'm gonna apologize. Yeah, I'll <laughs> send him some up. flowers on me. But uh, <laughs> no, a, a rival I think is great. Competition, you know. Maybe have you ever thought about having a rival outside of the gun? I circle there. Are you offering the to throw your hat? No, in the no, ring no, or, no, okay. no, no, no. I've got a rifle. I'm taking. Okay, gotcha, but gotcha. So maybe I need you to look could. For another. Maybe. Like, I think, well, I was actually. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Yeah, never mind. I won't. I won't go into that. <laughs> there was there was some things that came up recently with uh, another bigger YouTuber that I'm like, okay. If you yeah, Aqua and Sam's rivalry kind of dissolves. So if you want to take on yeah. Aqua, it's probably fine. Yeah, he's Not got a cold easy. though. Yeah, true. And they're like just really nice. Just yeah, like nice yeah, guys, yeah. But yeah, I rated him the other day when I got off uh, when I got off streaming, and uh, I, the, the amount of times I heard this is not a cult in like the first two minutes. <laughs> Like, that's all right, you, I need to get the yeah. fuck out of here. This is that's how you know. <laughs> yeah, no, they love him. I don't know. He's he's charismatic. He's a he's just a nice. He's got that. He feigns niceness very well. Who uh, poop? So it's an act. Aqua. Oh, Aqua. Sorry. Sorry, I just realized you we hadn't shit on Aqua coin. yet. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fit that in They're real close. quick. Yeah. yeah. The uh, that was a close one. Aqua the, hinted to me. He's like, we don't really hang out, so stop shitting on me. <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he actually say that? <laughs> well, because like we Damn. used to, we used to be really tight friends. So like me shitting on him was a little bit more. Uh, yeah, whose fault is that? You know. Yeah, I mean? it was. Wow. It was a little no, bit more that's... palatable because we we're like actually friends, but we don't like talk anymore. So I don't shit on him. You're so you're yeah. Sam's very. If you don't talk to him for like a month, you go from friend to nothing to enemy. <laughs> Straight up enemy, yeah, like very, very short yeah. time frame. I mean, by the way, the enemies don't get shit talked. Yeah, yeah the he enemies was on yeah. thin fucking ice because he shows up for podcasts and that's Dude, about I it. I used to leave for like six months at a time. I'd come back, no love lost. Sam's like, hey, what's up, buddy? Like, welcome back to Discord. Now it's like, I don't get my weekly talk. You went from an associate of yeah. mine to like a friend, and then you went. You once you're a friend, you can't back back out. We would talk all the time. And then, and then you're like all of a sudden cat. scarce around these you. parts. Well, we didn't want to scare you yeah. off. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's like you know, before 
if I didn't go over to your house in, you know, a week or two, you know, it was no big deal. But ever since I took the responsibility of feeding your dog, all of a sudden, if I'm not there for a week, yeah. now all of a sudden, oh, you have an issue. Oh, oh, yep. One dog dies. Now, a dog dies every day in yeah. America. Okay? Let's be real. <laughs> one dog a day. Uh, no, no. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm just different like that. Like, I just have, like, great friends. I, haven't even, I don't even know what the fuck they're doing in the world. Yeah. I don't even know if they're alive. But I still, you know, I love them. But yeah, we should we is should that, hang out with Aqua. Is maybe that we should. Friendship? <laughs> well, it's more like yeah. Is that it, friendship? It's like well, yeah, it's more like brotherhood, really. Is that yeah, it's it? it's closer than friendship. It defies it defies the... living or death. It's <laughs> no matter what, death to us, mm. no part. Since we're doing all the tropes for the podcast, do you think Aqua's going to come to the camping trip? That's definitely. I think gonna we happen. should rebuild that bridge. First, yeah, and then before. ask. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's I don't have even, him back I don't on even the remember podcast what his face soon. looks like anymore. It's been so I miss long. His sweet kind of like voice. Jake Gyllenhaal, but like hotter. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna yeah. say like oh, a defective Jake Gyllenhaal, but yeah. What a, yeah, like, yeah. We have no, Jake Gyllenhaal at home. <laughs> yeah. We're re, no, yeah. we're rebuilding this bridge. Like <laughs> wish, like wish Gyllenhaal. Like, dude. like, like Jake Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal he was an actor. Failed at the factory, <laughs> and then they. <laughs> If Did Jake, not pass. If Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal was factory. a model instead of an actor, yeah, you got the, you okay. got the blem, Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no, let's let's have him back on the podcast <laughs> at some point. Come on, yeah, it's always a great time. I was actually just considering just like hanging out with him. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because we, I mean, we stream together, but that doesn't count as hanging out no. with someone. That's like work time. Well, like, I, think I, we should... I don't consider like I don't remember the last time we actually hung out, Poop. Because uh, every time Yeah, Project Zomboid was live streamed. Tarkov live oh. streamed. Every time on the podcast where we're laughing, oh, high five. Oh, you don't want to play ARAM every if, night because yeah, you hate yeah. League of Legends. If you don't That's show up for chance. ARAM every night, you're not on yeah. the friends list. All right. I am so burnt out of fucking <laughs> League of Legends. I don't want to play it. That's oh my that's God. what it takes to be my friend, dude. If you're not if you're not cut out for it, you're not cut out for it. Okay. Choose being my friend or playing ARAM. That's, or not playing ARAM, I guess. <laughs> I choose no ARAM, I think. But I'll well, see then. you work next That's week. That's why you are simply an employee. Okay. But Brian, That's actually, Brian, I'm sorry. You know it's good saying? to get yeah. separated. Uh, He's there every night. You know, by Better the way, die. Brandon, you there gonna be? You gonna be there for A Ram tonight? <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. it, I'm down. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what to say. That would if you no said clue. no, we were ending the episode right then. And there. I actually <laughs> have no clue what that fucking is. <laughs> That's it's just nerd nerd chump shit. I was about to really. say, there's no. nobody that game. owns a gun that has League of Legends installed. <laughs> like League of Legends. Yeah. You chose that path in life. When you got your first gun, you were like, "That's never gonna be on my computer." Yep. <laughs> Uh, I'm never gonna control a tiny yeah. little rat man that fucking <laughs> shoots darts at people. I want to be. Uh, no, I want to see a, a stream <laughs> with um the that landmark guy playing League of Legends with that fucking Matrix rack of guns <laughs> behind him <laughs> as his webcam, uh, and then the game is League of Legends. Uh, that would be a funny mix. That would that would that's dividing by zero. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. That which, by the way, I'm just gonna say it right here and now. His setup is much nicer than you. You got like this. It is. Yours uh, so looks here's like the a part. This is my garage house. rack. Some of or your something. guns are missing. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, to the, uh, this is this is my house. So these robbed? are just the guns that I have on the fucking wall. Wow, there's more. Uh, but the uh, is that like a bra over there? Is that Elon Musk's face? What, that was, what was that on the left? I, I've got a poster what? with Elon Musk and a quote on it. <laughs> oh, nice. but what's that? the quote? Uh, some Dogecoin. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Dogecoin to the moon. <laughs> re. Yeah, Elon Musk, uh, 2021. But the uh, no, I, uh, at my office, uh, I've got a bigger gun wall, and we actually need more space. Uh, I just am a lazy piece of shit. So what happened yeah. to the guns that were on the hooks behind you? <laughs> uh, one of them you made me take down. It's right here. Uh, the others, uh, we were we went shooting yesterday, so they're, they're not on the wall yet. Because mm. I'm a lazy piece of shit. Are you, <laughs> let's watch you. Are you a supposed to right clean now. them? Let's, let's shoot them? get some closure. Uh, you're supposed Is to clean them, them, yeah. Hypothetically, if you don't clean them after you shoot them. So if you're not shooting corrosive ammo, it's really not a big deal. If you're shooting like old surplus ammo and stuff like that, it'll fuck it up pretty good. But if you're just shooting regular ammo, you're usually okay. 
Also, like, dust doesn't kick out of the gun or something if it's <laughs> well, too dirty. A lot of the like dirt and corrosion or whatever, like, I mean, a lot of times you fire one round and it goes out. Gotcha. It's all gone. So, oh, hypothetical here. Let's say someone went to the shooting range with their father, like, five years ago. And mm -hmm. then they just came home and threw a gun in the closet and have not touched it since then. You should probably function check it every now and again. Okay. Yeah, uh, I got my mother uh, a Glock at one point because we used to live in kind of a sketchy place, but I just wanted her to have something. She was going out to church groups or whatever late at night, you know, just something to have. And uh, she'd never fucked with it, ever. So she'd just carry it without a round in the chamber. All she had to do is, you know, rack the slide and she'd be good to go. She'd never fucked with it. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, can I see that real quick? I just, you know, want to do, like, routine maintenance or whatever. The slide was, like, rusted shut because she had spilled shit on it and whatever. <laughs> never fucking looked at it. I'm like... Not, I'm going to have to get a hammer to beat this open. Like, you would be so fucking dead if you ever needed this. Because well, sometimes not only... you just need to show it. And then yeah, and she just pulls up her waistband. Yeah. And it's just tucked yeah. in. And you see She's the like... rust covered gun. And you'd be like, that's going to give me tetanus <laughs> yeah. if I get shot by that. Yeah. Yeah. I would you run. beat him to death with a rusty yeah. fucking gun. Yeah. This thing's like getting hit with a barnacle if you fucking get near me. I'm also like, mom, this is a nitrided gun. You know how hard that is to rust? Did you intentionally just spill like fucking sulfuric acid on this shit? Like, have you ever? Do you guys ever use like pirate guns or like crazy old timey guns? Because I think like a blunderbuss. I think that would be like. Uh, I'm thinking older. like even well, that's pretty cool. But I'm like thinking like destiny. What the hell? Is even that? older. This is I think uh, be old Colt awesome. Walker. This is like 1840s. He's talking about like I'm the, the like, ball. I love those like old Chinese oh, ones where it's like a crossbow with a uh, like a cannon on the end. And then they have so a I did, guy to light it. I ordered a, um, a like a Revolutionary War hand mortar, which is like That'd an old, sick. like the oldest grenade launcher. It's like basically if you took a musket, cut the front of the barrel off and just put a big like fucking bowl there and they just shove like a fucking cannonball or something, light it and just shoot it out of this goddamn thing. Uh, yeah, if the like gun to... didn't go off, I don't know what you do because you just have a lit fucking <laughs> cannonball right there at the end. <laughs> 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 Fuck off. That's when you start Shit. sucking on the back of the trigger that <laughs> yeah, we developed. That's when you really <laughs> deep throw that fucking <laughs> thing. I didn't question my gun enough, huh? <laughs> me and my dad went to the range. I hope the first trigger works, or else he's going to be real <laughs> disappointed in me. Is it something I did? Or... <laughs> it, was, it was good for you, right? <laughs> yeah. You you said you had a good time. You said it. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, let's end it. I have to leave soon. Cool. All right. Yeah, get it.